football culture movement. Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of FCM Football Culture Movement. You already know what time is happening, man. The Sunday finest. We've had a massive weekend of football. That means we have a massive pod. To my left, the one and only cult hero. The the, the defeater <laughs> of the Liverpool <laughs> country people. Man, I give it a Get on your feet! <laughs> Get on your feet! Get on your feet! Yes! Yes! Let's we'll give go. Him a little song. We'll this give him a little song. This is bro. I got like this is more than three point collectors, <laughs> bro. Hype this hey, shit. We ain't even got to the hype this got, shit. We ain't even got there yet. Hype this shit. Let's give him intros. <laughs> we can't monetize it. <laughs> so nah. if you're swearing in the first forty <laughs> seconds, bro, hey, a monetization out the window. Yeah. To my right, we've got the podcasting Pepe, the boy himself, Fred Kadani, fresh from breaking his fast, but oh. he's here for you right now, belly full. After that result, <laughs> that's how we're gonna start this pod today. Oh, you see, myself, you already know the host of the most, my quadrant, of course, on the United train, of course, the boy production, Liaz, feeling <laughs> good about it. I'm mad! <laughs> I'm mad! <laughs> Listen, you already know what time it is. Before we go any further, you can tell what sort of mood we're in. Like, share, subscribe algorithm 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 let us know your thoughts in the game send in your super chats get involved in the conversation we are going to have a good talk today but let's get into it let's Oof. get into it obviously as is <clears throat> custom around here if your team went out there you know maybe didn't have cut competitions this week managed to get your dub hold tight the three point collectors wherever you are but if your team overcame adversity, had to go through it, mm. had to face a few things, mm. but managed to book that ticket to Wembley. Mm. Hold tight the Wembley collectors. You know what you hear me? You hear me? Yo. You hear me? Good day. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Hold tight the Wembley Good day, sir. Good day, sir. You get me? Come on. Wembley way. What a feeling. What a place. What a place. Who would have thought? Who look at us? Not me. Not me. Not me. Oh, man. But let's get into it, man. There's only one place to start. It is, of course, Manchester United, Liverpool, the pick of the draw. But can I say, before we get into that, what a FA Cup weekend. Yo, Imagine yo, yo. Everywhere. What's the draw, though? What's the draw? What's the draw? What's the draw? Production will keep Someone us Someone is saying in the comments, United v Coventry. Stop. No, Stop. it's United? not con confirmed, though, innit? Well, is the draw happening now? Has the draw happened? I'll, I'll, I'll be keeping up. Yeah, yeah. Please. Production! This is what we need you to produce! This is what we need you to produce! Keep us in the loop. You want to produ produce the draw? Yes! <laughs> oh, it's happening right now, yeah. Draw's done. Ooh. Yes! Let's go! Just... Oh! Wait. Oh! Yes! Oh! Man City <laughs> versus I Chelsea. Oh, yeah. 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 United versus Glory, glory, man, you know? Wait, <laughs> City! Hey. We're coming for you again! Oh. Whoa! Part Whoa! Two. We're coming from Revenge Tour! Hold on a minute, player! Hold on a minute, player! Part two! Hold on a minute, player! Hold on a minute, player! Hold on a minute, player! Nah! <laughs> I went and saw, I saw that final live in the flesh. Hey, we humble here. We're humble. Listen, hey, man. Fizz. You got smoke for City still. Let's you go. Got, you got something for City. I don't mind that. But let's oh, you got something for City? Listen, mm. we got something for them twice this year. You got something for City? You got something for them. Yeah. This is London. This is, this is an Etihad. Hey, they struggled with Leicester and Leeds, you know? Hey. Raheem, you must. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge. No, All right, let's get into the episode, man. Of course, the big game this weekend. If, if, for those who don't realise why we're shouting right now, the FA Cup draw has come out. We have Manchester City versus Chelsea. Mm. We have Coventry United versus Manchester United. But we'll get into the games that led to that. This FA Cup weekend has been what FA Cup's about. I just want to say all of these little teams that don't think the FA Cup's too serious or want to bench their players and whatnot, this is why you play your players because there's magic in this cup. It means something to the fans. We saw Man United fans cheering for a player that's not scored all season <laughs> or conflicted on what to do. We yeah. saw a team that played their captain, who's a forward at left back, Maguire up top, anything to get across the line. There's something magical about this Bruno, team right player. centre back. And people yeah. sleep on it too much. And that's why I'm so happy that these results happen the way they are. But let's get into the game, man. Liverpool, Manchester United. Culture comes. How are you feeling right now? Mate, emotional roller coaster. <laughs> what? <laughs> emotional roller coaster. Like, yo, it's hard to. It's like, you know, when you're just. You're just buzzing. You're just yeah, buzzing. Yeah, yeah. Now I need to 
get all my thoughts together because we still got a show to do. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Recalibrate. But literally, like, yo, the emotions were mad. 1-0, obviously. And then for Liverpool to go 2-1, you know, we'll talk about the goals and stuff. But yeah. at the end, Marcus Rashford, that you think, win us the game. That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's oh. it. Yeah. And then Harvey Elliott gets a goal. So then the emotion goes down again and, and a goal that's so avoidable as well. And then Rashford rectifies. You know, Rashford don't walk away with these. You know, he's a BGB. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know he's a BGB. <laughs> Rashford don't walk. He's a big game bully. This one, man. Rashford don't walk away against the big six without, without a crash, a little fun. crash. You know what I mean? He walks away with something. <laughs> so, 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 to, um, to, 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 yeah, to. he said, listen, so he had to rectify that because the game should have been won. He scored the equalizer. The game should have been won. But then even in extra time, we were the better team in extra time. And then for Ahmad, I promise you guys, for Ahmad to be the one to score the winner, that means something to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> that means something that to shit me, man. Means something yeah. That shit means something. Yo, listen, oh man, like it, it's, oh, it's so good. And the, the way he got sent off a little clapping, he, he said, yeah, I'm about to break, was it a break? If time, yeah, yeah, if time, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm off, let me go I'm get said, my banana. Said, let, let me get them sad. bits, let me get them Aye. bits. <laughs> Lovely man, honestly, honestly, emotions are so high. I'm sure all the Man United fans are watching. I feel in the same way. Me and Leah's, bro, I'm literally sweating. Me and Leah's, were, oh, bro, mate. wow. Nah, the clip, the clip is on our Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. check it out. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted, bro. I feel like I just went to war or something, bro. Listen, man, United fans, let us know your thoughts in the comments. But let's um, let's break down the game because it's one of those things. As you alluded to, the first half, from the view of United fans, one of your better performances should have probably buried the game with the McTominay chance that he missed, <sighs> but. I mean, we actually created was, chances. You actually created chances. You actually played well. <clears throat> it was just in the last few moments, you just capitulated and let them get two goals. But from that moment there, did that kind of feel like the tale of your season where you're due one of these good performances and you don't capitalise and do anything? Was it like a feeling where it was like, I've I seen mean, this before? <sighs> classic, isn't it? To even say, do you know what it is? It's not more so about, because there hasn't been many great performances, mm. but it was more so as when we conceded, how do Manchester United react? Mm. Mm. Oh, I always feel that way. When we concede, how do we react? And instantly we went two. Yeah. Uh, within two minutes of me even mm. saying, let's see what happens. Boom, two, one straight away. So then it started to feel like, okay, <laughs> typical. You know what I mean? Typical Man United. Listen, got to give credit for <clears throat> to Anthony. He came on and look, whether, whatever you think about him, he came on and he added fight into the team. He was driving with the ball. He mm. scored a brilliant goal off his weaker foot as well. He added something into this game. And I've yeah. got to give him credit because I'm a big criticizer of Anthony. But what he done today, he injected something into us. And honestly, I don't even know what I can say tactically about this performance. Because at once on one stage, Bruno is playing centre back or left, left back. back or wherever he's playing. I'm seeing Ericsson getting it from centre back. I saw Maguire at left back. Ahmad's on the pitch. Anthony's on the pitch. McTom is still there. Rashford. It was just relentless attack. We just kept going for it, going, going for it. And I actually think we confused Liverpool after a while because who, how did Eric, how many men were on the pitch at some stage? Yeah. There's no formation. It's literally just go for Next it. You're at Old Trafford, I'm not, go for it. I'm and I love that. Give Ten Hag almost credit tactically, but mm -hmm. for, to still go for the game when mm -hmm. you know almost like, all right, you've conceded that third goal. It could be down and out, but it's like, now we're throwing the whole kitchen sink at it. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm And it's almost about. like classical United. That's what Fergie would fight do. Fight till all the way to the end yes. and just bring four forwards on. Yes. Everybody just get up the pitch. It don't matter. Some way, somehow. And it almost felt like just because you kept going, mm -hmm. things just kept coming. And, and as you said, I think it confused Liverpool. Because at one point you were seeing Ahmad and Anthony on the right, right wing together. Yeah. And it was like, hold on, well, who's <laughs> who, the right winger? Who's, who's like, picking up who? But even like, I think ultimately... There was stuff that played into that as well with Jurgen Klopp substitutions of like Salah's coming off. Okay, the game that was a strange won. one. I thought, yeah, like you can say it's a strange one, but he probably thought, you know, enough's been done now. They're not going to kick back into this. And but I usually... thought with international break though, yeah. I thought at least see the game out, at least ninety minutes, confirm yeah. the kill, and then you can kind of say, look, you got two weeks rest or whatever, or go with Egypt. Takes it worked against break, Arsenal, though, remember? Bro, well, honestly, I feel I like today was pure just wanting it. Yeah. We wanted it, as you said, Ten Hag. Wanted it because mm. he put all these guys in the bit. Mm. Bro, I was seeing Maguire winning headers yeah. in the box, Brunch. in their box. Hey, him, and he Van, him and Van Dijk was WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. He injected some fight into us. Today was just, you know, and the thing is, we've seen it against like Nottingham Forest. We mm. see it against when Mayanad are down. When Mayanad are down, mm. all of a sudden, when it's time for tactics out the window, mm. whatever, all of a sudden, Mayanad know how to do things. You always just wonder, why can you not perform like that mm. through the 90s? But it, I just like how 
we kept relentlessly mm. going for it. And mm. we, I think in the second half, oh, well, the second half was poor. Mm. I think in the s- second half of extra time, I mean, sorry, extra time in general, the 30 minutes, we deserve to win this game, bro, mm. in the end. Do you know what I'd say? Because you, you <laughs> often tweet that like, getting fourth or fifth and stuff like this, they're not things to celebrate. No. But what we have to remember is that football fans are fanatics, right? They go off feeling. Anyone that went to that game is going to be like, do you remember when we beat Liverpool and stopped the quadruple? And there's certain things that fans want to feel, right? And I feel like with where United are this season, the season is not over yet. You could see in that performance, they were like, hold on. <clears throat> we can still resurrect something. We can get we can get to Wembley or in the league. You know what? We could try and win a few more games and be in and amongst it. I think the defeatist attitude or sometimes the substitutions or the fact that, oh, there's nothing to play for kind of is counterproductive. But moments like this, the fans are going to be like, listen, next game at OT, we're there. Mm-hmm. Let's keep going again. And it's about for United. How do they build momentum for these results? Because there's no point in doing this. And then the next time, the next show now, it's just like, oh, it's just this combination. You, you, you never know what you're going to get over United. Obviously, yeah. it's international break. Yeah. You know, you never know what you're going to get. Because at some point, we look dead on our feet. Yeah. You know, every player looked dead on their feet. And we were saying, how are we the team that have, um, that didn't play on Thursday? We look like the team that played on Thursday. We look yeah. dead. But then some of the substitutions that came on, just some fresh legs. Anthony hasn't played in ages, like properly in ages. Yeah. Ahmad's not been getting any minutes. Ericsson too. These are guys that, and Maguire just come back from injury. These are fresh legs. Yeah. And they're the ones that helped us inject this into the game. Mm. Now, I'm not going to start looking ahead at um, what we can do in the Premier League mm. and stuff. Listen, for me, I don't think we're going to make Champions League. Mm. I think we still have probably a few more losses in us. Mm. But it is what it is. It, it, trophies, yeah, in a way... They're the one. They're the one moment where you still can celebrate. You, you know, can what I'm saying you, you can yeah. you, you can celebrate you winning a trophy. Someone. You can yeah. celebrate. Now that doesn't mean your team has developed to a great stage or nothing. When Chelsea won Champions League, it wasn't your greatest side. No, 100%. But you you celebrated it like yeah, it's your last, yeah. and that's what you want to do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So FA Cup, that's why I'm like this. If it was the Prem, I'll be like, yeah. ah, yeah, okay, cool. But FA Cup, mm. and you you you're going to Wembley again. Yeah. You've you've got to feel good, and was then it? it's Coventry, yeah. Good side. <laughs> We say barbecue chicken. Good side. Don't let that be the shock yeah, now. Yo, 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 don't down. let come down, down, I swear down. I hey. swear down. If you kill him. him. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Corrish You hey, want Corrish a good side, you know. Hey, we ain't doing well. Who's that striker? Who's that? Ellis. I ain't, Ellis I ain't, I ain't running around here. Ellis Sims. How'd you rate? Mm. How'd you rate? Mm. I ain't <laughs> running around here, bruv. <laughs> but I think no, you like, had a record as well of um, not losing to Liverpool at home in the FA Cup in like 100, 100 years. years but like, like, how many times have you played? And, and I know, but you thought, you know, once the third goal went in with Elliot, you was yeah. like, you know what? Yeah, forget mm. it. It's all done. I want to give a shout though, because there's a few things that happen whilst you're watching this in pre-production. Fuad literally said, these are the substitutions that got to happen. They happen. He then the also exact said, same ones. Anthony's going to score a goal. Yeah. He then scored. And then we both hit the shove and I went, Diallo's going to get a dagger. <laughs> yeah. And then it happened. Bro, <laughs> we literally every just, 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 <laughs> We produced that game. <laughs> but no, in general, like this is a good game. Like the United fans, let's see what you're saying. Though. And they super chats on United fans. Yeah, like, how are you feeling? I'm over the moon, bro. I'm <laughs> over the moon. That, that's like a game of like, you know, this is a game of two halves. That's like a game of like 60 different segments, man. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. there was a point in that second half, right? Where United literally could not get the ball off Liverpool. Where they just kept, that feels like a million years ago. But there was a part of that second half where they just kept passing back and forth, back and forth. And me and Cam were saying, okay, can you, can you bring on a substitution? Can you do anything to change the game? I can't like credit to Ten Hag because the substitutions changed the game. Yeah. From the minute Anthony and, and Ahmad came on, you got some, some lift, Injection. like Cam said. And, and from there, okay, then you have something. United tactically are never going to beat Liverpool, but at least be on a level playing field with them in terms of intensity. So, Desire, yeah. Yeah, man. I feel do like I know, just ran a marathon. It, before we get to some super chats, I want to say, um, We've spoke about Kobe Mayna many times, but what a player he is. Mm, what a player special. he is. The main special. special. And I feel like ultimately his performance and the way he is gets lost because he came off and everything happened afterwards. But to go to battle and still be like that, still be at that level, just shows you how talented this kid is. Yeah. And I feel like it's also special to <laughs> mention that because at the end of the day, what he's been thrown into this season has been a shit show, yeah. but he's still able to perform. I want to shout that out. But again, I want to shout out Ganache as well because you're one of these people, I feel like with United fans, United fans always talk about the, the sort of talent and everything and what United should expect from a winger. Can I say something on Garnacho, Miz? Go on, bro. His brother just tweeted, actually, that this week he trained only two times because he's been suffering with a hamstring injury. 
Wow. Oh. Shot him. So and he literally ran himself into the ground today. Played all 120 minutes. And it's not like somebody jogging front. Like, he literally ran himself yeah. into bro, the ground. Yeah. Bro. So, runs, he was making an extra time. Bro, bro. and me and, Cam, we often talk, legs, me and yeah. Cam, we often talk about Garnacho in terms of talent-wise. Like, is he at the level you know, need right now? But one thing you can never doubt about the kid, and I say it all the time, he has balls, man. He is not afraid yeah. of the moment ever. He so started, you know, started like 20 games in a row now. The biggest thing to say about him is, at any level, you need players that are going to play for the badge. That boy, for 70 minutes, people could say that the, the, the ability wasn't there. He was still running at the end, got that's the assist. The, the, like he the, plays yeah, for the badge and you need that people like that. To keep going, you, need people like that. you have to keep going. And the thing is, as you said, we started a ridiculous amount of games yeah. starting um, in a row. Mm -hmm. And it's the fact that even we went into extra time and he was still, still going, going. Still going. Listen, the quality, I think the final action wasn't always there. Mm. You know what I mean? But he's, caused a th he's causing a threat. And even mm. for the first goal, obviously he took the shot. Yeah. that McTominay ended up scoring from. And look, there was some bad performances out there. There were some good performances out there. Mm. Like, <clears throat> I don't think McTominay play particularly played amazingly, but one thing that I'll give Ten Hag credit for is he's the only manager that we've had that has profiled McTominay correctly. Right yeah. You know what I mean? Final it's clear this is, this is when you look at McTominay and you say, do you know what? Okay, you can be, you can, you're offering something as a squad player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not when Oli's starting him in a pivot every single week, dropping yeah. Paul Pogba to start him with Fred, or <laughs> when when Jose Mourinho is giving him manager of, and player managers player of the year, for, all this type of stuff. Mm. Not that, but when you see him willingly always bursting forward, mm. yes, it leaves gaps in our midfield. And tactically, when he starts, it is a bit of a worry, mm. but it shows that he can do something offensively. And mm. Ten Hag's the only one that's kind of shown that. I'm going to profile this guy correctly. Yeah. So I'll give him credit for that. But Scott honestly, Fellaini. I want to give a shout as well to Diego Dallo, bro. Diego Dallo, all season long, he's been doing this, bro. Mm. All season long, he's been good. Mm. No, I'm not saying he locked down Le Luis Diaz because Diaz got past him a few mm. times. <clears throat> but building up defensively, offensively, the guy is, is moving like a complete player for us. Mm. And I, I've said it before, player of the season for us. Mm. Bro, I'm losing my voice after all yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> but player of the season for us. And once again, he just kept going again. And look, there were some bad performances, but you got to shout out the good yeah, ones. We can, we can save that for another time. Let's, we got any super chats <coughs> on that game? Yeah, sure. we got a few. Jason J says, Maynu being one of the best midfielders on the pitch at 18 is crazy. The kid is such a technically gifted player. He, uh, he made his debut in the Liverpool League game as well, wasn't it? No, it wasn't his debut. Where was it? Who no. was that? I'm at, um, Manu, uh, no, Manu. Manu. when did he make his debut though. for you guys? Um, I remember it was, he got thrown in the yeah, deep Everton, end. I, 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 Everton yeah, but, no, away was his Everton first game, start. But that was, in his, that was in his first game. I think he played in the sometime in, I'm sorry, he's played sometime in January 2023, I think it was. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some head down. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Got, yeah. he got a game. Yeah. But it's crazy how mature that kid looks. No, <laughs> he just needs to be looked after. Yeah. Who's the Super Chats? Scan Hunt 42 says midfield looked better with Bruno in defense. Uh, <laughs> yo, as I said, yo, Bruno might be a better centre back than he is a forward, bro. Same ball playing, ball playing, bro. Centre back. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, Mohammed says, Edwards, please send Gakpo back to Utrecht. I feel sick. I'll do the copium thing and say I'm happy. My Muslim brother scored during Ramadan. Hashtag free Ahmad. <laughs> hey, I told him about Muslim players yeah, in Ramadan, bro. Kudus running Take the length of the pitch. season. Mm. Kudus. Mm. You remember Benzema Ramadan Benz? True. That remember Riyad Ramadan? Yeah, hey, true. listen, it's not a myth, bro. Mm. How are you powers feeling? of Allah. The, are they giving you what blessed. powers are you getting? I feel blessed. I feel blessed. You got, you got, you got a new, you know, you you got need a new TV. TV. You're going to get a power of good taste. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, one week they, hey. they're trying to rub me out. Hey. We're gonna talk we'll about, get to that. We'll get to that. We're gonna talk about your week. We're gonna talk about your week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, honestly, though, like, <laughs> is there any more? Uh, yeah, Ke uh, OZ says keep following up with the draw, lads. We did so. United Coventry and then City versus Chelsea. Mm. <laughs> My guy Steven says quadruple hype. Mm. <laughs> uh, Trouble Viking says a City United. Do us a favor for the league, please. Uh, Madara says this club man they're going to shorten my lifespan but I wouldn't change it for a thing also thank you Cams for supporting me hope you enjoy the tracky oh this tracky yeah shout out shout out my man big up <laughs> Madara my man. big up Madara yeah. Yeah, good, 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 <laughs> man. go check him out it's good uh, <coughs> Natish says word to Trent hashtag this means more farewell club <laughs> uh, that's a good one and then Edgar Kutisa says what's Norbert got to say about the quad hmm Where's Trent? Hey, 
Mm. Get on the pitch, blood. Mm. Get on the pitch. Are you it's ducking fades? Are you ducking fades, bro? You know, are you ducking fades? I want to see what's, what did Ten Hag say, though? What did Ten Hag say? Before we go any further, make sure you smash the like button. Keep sending your super chats. Keep letting us know your comments as well. Keep going in there. Let's smash those like buttons up. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Ten Hag is saying because I feel after all those substitutions and how the game went, he probably feels like, you know what? Bro, yeah. he, that was a... That was I can't, like I can't lie because we'll go to Chelsea, but Poch was talking his shit and his one as well. Was he, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poch Wait, was talking just, his shit. You don't just well. do your job against City yeah, and yeah. I'll we'll see, see you We'll see at WrestleMania, innit? That's what I'm saying. I'll see you there. I'll see you at WrestleMania. You know what I'm saying? Look at this guy sitting there. I can't relate. Look at him. Look at him. You know that squid word? The hate watch. See the sponge over them, man, running around. I'm fuming, bro. Oh, man. Just make sure you're there. Listen, man. Listen, we'll be there, man. Make sure you're there. Get a little SEM box. I was meant to go on holiday as well. I'm not going to go on holiday because mm. we're going to be there. Mm. Again. Again. Let's go, man. Oh, man. Should we, should we move to Chelsea? Or is there any... We got a few more. Frankie yeah, Fast 10 let's says... Let's talk about Liverpool, actually. Well, go. Let's go through more. I was going to say, let's get... Yeah. Frankie Fast 10 says, I want to send a special shout out to the Liverpool fans right next to me discussing, I hope we get Coventry at 71st minute. Breathe in, then hold <laughs> that. That's a good one. I like that's, that. That's I like that. A, I like that's that a one. one. That's <laughs> a good one. I'm about to say that. Yeah, and then Amir Nail <laughs> says, Rashford will be missing against Coventry. He won't be hyped for a championship club. Wait, I'm confused. Is Rashford not playing? No, no, he's, no, he's saying he's, they're not a BGB. There. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Right, wait, 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 Rashford scored that in the Carabao, Carabao Cup final as well. Not bad. He's he's got he's decent at Wembley. Let's see what happens, isn't it? Is. See what happens. Why are they why are they trying to write him off already now? You know what I'm saying? He needs to take confidence from this, bro. Confidence, because that was a good rectifying moment, as I'm saying. Because listen, he's fortunate I'm that he got the you, moment. If it yes. was not, if it was not um, additional time, that's it. I'm the telling last you, last kick now. of the game, you're, you're just thinking about it. Yeah, so. at, at that at that point. The all eyes would have been on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All eyes would have been on him. And listen, a lifeline. That's what you need your teammates for he to dig you the out the dirt post. and stuff. Yeah. But listen, we're gonna get into, we'll get into, into Chelsea. We'll get into but let's quickly t- um, talk about Liverpool. Um, obviously, <coughs> quadruple is now not something that can happen. Um, massive break comes, and then they come back and everything. What do we take on sort of the way they handled this game? A lot because a lot of United fans were kind of like, oh yeah, what what. Well, we're not going to win this game before a ball is even. Good. They'll be very annoyed because they know they're the better side, and I think the performance as well. The performance, even I think there were moments in the second half, especially where you felt like they could have gone and killed the game off. Mm-hmm. But they said they fought off the gas a little yeah, very passive, and and I think that's what they'll be annoyed about is knowing that they're a better side than United, knowing mm-hmm. that they can play better than this, mm-hmm. but they've let them through their desire and just basically kamikaze approach in the mm-hmm. last twenty minutes of that game just take over basically so I think to, to go out a cup in any manner is annoying but mm. to go out in that manner to your biggest rivals as well I think that's that's kind of going to be the real hurt so, point it's almost poetic because you, you attribute those sort of spirited injury ridden all backs against wood performances mm-hmm. to Liverpool so yeah. for a team to do that against them and them not be able to sort of find a a solution to it is quite even like I'll be real to you Harvey Elliott coming on as a substitute and getting a goal, goal yeah. I was like you know what he's having that kind of moment yeah. where alright the yeah, magic of the cup yeah it's yeah. going to be yeah. kind of your thing now yeah. alright cool say no more the next gen is coming Yeah, and then lo and behold these are just say alright mm. hold mm. one second one second, yeah, one second. <laughs> we're coming <laughs> I, 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 I've always said it and look, I, I say it to Leah's all the time right and then Leah's is always on the other side he's like <laughs> nah it's not going to happen but I always say it, Man United, it's like, forget about all the trophies United have won and stuff. Mm. One thing guaranteed that United love doing is spoiling parties, bro. We are like the generational party mm. poopers, bro. We party poop everything. Bro, I saw I keep saying, and we did it, we, we did it today when people thought, when Liverpool were talking about quadruple, mm. people were talking about, it's going to be a Liverpool-Chelsea final again. We do it all the time. And that's what I'm saying, you see, see Two Arsenal, games for the end of the season. Arsenal coming to OT, <laughs> two to go. <laughs> 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 the Invincibles it was United Chelsea when you guys yeah, were going unbeaten yeah. it was United United loved doing it bro I'm telling you it's weird. Yeah. just a weird night that United have um, before we move on from this it's only right we've spoken about him but it's been well discussed heavily about Diallo not getting utilisation not getting minutes what's going on and everything based on his performance not just the goals well, based on his performance and what he did now does Ten Hag have to just drop the act and be like I, I have to play this kid I mean, give him a chance. Mm. That's all it is. Mm. That's all every fan is saying, yeah. Give him a chance. And I was saying it um, to Leas the other day. You look at Man United, right? Um, we're chasing Elise right now, all right? 50 million, 60 million, whatever we're going to try and pay for him. Frequently injured. He was doing really well 
championship. in the championship and and came to the prem and did his job last season Ahmad took the championship for a joke he he was above that level mm. he won the fans player of the year of the championship he ran that now we bring him in here give him a go you yeah. give him a go it's the fact because that he's in, not even being given a chance because if he was doing the exact same thing at another club You'd we'll be, be looking at Ahmad signing. and be saying yo that's the type of player that we should sign yeah We've got him here. Give him a chance, bro. We're chasing a guy that was in the championship two seasons ago for 70, 60 million now. Like, you just don't know. Let these guys at least have a chance. That's all it is. Give him a chance. And I feel like, to be honest, since he signed for United, his development hasn't been handled well. No. Like, every single season, it's just been some one reason or another why he's not playing or getting sent out on loan. But even like the Sunderland loan came off the back of bro, you lot signed with 37 million. Yeah. It was a bleeding squad. This is pre-Anthony as well. Mm-hmm. And he still wasn't even getting a sniff. So yeah. it's like, you kind of hope this is the type of moment which almost breathes a bit of confidence mm-hmm. and life into his United career. And mm-hmm. what is it now? 10 games till the end of the season? Yeah. You just hope he can kind of at least 20, 30 minute cameos, even mm-hmm. if it's not starts, mm-hmm. but at least let him have some impact in the game. Because bro, that is, that is what you call coming on, scoring a goal. Mm-hmm. I, I got sent off, but That's I did my job. Cult hero. Yeah, literally. Diego Facts. Forlan, we love him at this club. He was a flop. Two goals versus Liverpool. Mm. We will love you forever, bro. Cold that, hero. That's what it is. He's a cold hero. And the thing is, you look at it, yeah. When I was saying with the championship, right? If you, if Ahmad came from the academy mm. and you just had some talented academy player and you're begging them to get a chance, yeah. then sometimes, yeah, maybe in training, they're not physically le- at the level. Maybe they're not mentally at the level. But it's the fact that we've seen him go to the championship, which everyone says is this physical, strong league. Two games a and week. he handled it easy. Two mm. games a week. That's why it's more confusing. Mm. Like, there's no, like, he's not ready for men's football mm. about it. Whereas if it was an academy player, maybe you could say that. Mm. But with Ahmad, bro, you've got to give him the opportunity. The yeah. guy's got talent, bro. Not yeah. to conflate it, but Harvey Elliott was the same for Liverpool when he went <coughs> Blackburn, obviously did his team. And there's similar and players for me, it's honestly. Like, honestly yeah. I imagine yeah. Harvey yeah. Elliott. But that's what I'm saying. Like, Harvey Elliott's still getting minutes and utilisation. Yeah. He might not start all the games, yeah. but you can see how he's grown into and a an player. And an even more competitive side as well. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Mm. So it's like, why can't it be the same? Do you know but, who's another youngster that deserves a shout as well? I think Kwanzaa today. Oh, yeah. he, was, he was solid, solid man and I think since he's come into this Liverpool team he's like, been like a duck to water bro yeah. I think there were there have been moments where people have thought oh maybe he can be the weak link you can get at he's young and inexperienced but bro he looks so comfortable at yeah. that stage I'm like he turned Liverpool, into Matip Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool got one there that for sure run, bro he turned into Matip I said yeah. is, what, is he back from injury I was like right something used to, like, used to I, I was tweeting <laughs> out as long as he's, he's got the perfect partner alongside him in Van Dijk as well mm. and like Konate there who he can both sides are almost yeah. being a centre back yeah. you can learn from he's in a perfect situation yeah. there. He, he's Proper. a good player man he's a good player man um, let's move it on um, obviously City went through Bernardo mm. Silva is there no 10 hard goals. quotes now no 10 hard quotes I want to see what he has I to say, he, man. Yeah. He might bring some in the dressing chat. room, yeah. popping champagne, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> um, we also had, what was the other game? Coventry Wolves. Mm-hmm. Now, City won, what, with two Bernardo deflected goals? Deflected, deflected, deflected goals, goals, yeah. yeah, yeah that was yeah. just a word, routine. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, it was routine, routine for them. Win, bro. The Coventry Wolves game was wow. a mazzoline. That was magic of the cup. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. Big up at Nuri. that was though. the early kickoff as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. at Nuri tried to do a little something, something goal and assist, and then... Boy, he's Coventry. a baller, by the way. He is. Nori. He is. Oh yeah. He's, I think between him and what's um Anton Robinson. Yeah, I think those two will probably Anthony. be like Robinson. Anthony Robinson. <laughs> Anthony, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> and Robinson. I don't know. I've, yeah, I think he's at. Uh, he's don't got know. good nah, locomotion. I think, he, I think he's better than Fulham, to be honest. What he's level got good do you think? And he Robinson should play at a playing. higher one. I think. He like, could, yeah, but what teams? Give like, give like a team. I think, he, I think he's like a Europa League. He does Villa, well at Villa. Villa, Europa League, bro. Villa for example, he could he I could be he an upgrade well on Dini. Upgrade on Dean. I mean, Dini. Yeah, Dini doesn't play. I don't know. Dini has been, like been, been cooked they for play a minute. Man, he Dini didn't play like that. Yeah, I don't know. Robinson can definitely play at a higher level. The thing is, you got to remember, in terms of like some of the core things you need to play at position is that physicality, that ability to get up and down, pace, and decent delivery. He's got those covered to a T. So like, a rugby player to me. He's, no, like he's like a rugby. He's like that's got that build in it. Like, you know he's got a good. He's got uh, Cam, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could him a fly. Hello, Cam, him a fly has, half. Cam, he has a good whip on him, though. <laughs> yeah, he has a very good whip yeah, on him. Yeah, yeah. but, but uh, I know he can definitely play at a Liverpool S club. He could definitely play <laughs> Robertson, in my opinion. Yeah, I think yeah, if, if, if those yeah, are the two so. options for Liverpool, I think most Liverpool fans would go for Aitnuri purely because of that kind of on the ball ability yeah. I think the thing is though that they need that sort of like combative nature from them well from listen if, can't it's, have if, it's, if it's if it's Xabi Alonso I, I, coming in and the wing backs are going to be doing what Grimaldo's Grimaldo doing Finnegan, they, mm, Alfie, get Aitnuri trust me Alfie at Luton 
That's Alfie him. Doughty. Hey. Alfie Doughty. <laughs> hey. I, yeah. Didn't I mention yeah. it like four weeks ago? Like, I said, yo, his left yeah, peg yeah, yeah. Yeah. For is special. For the cross field maker, ones bro. as well. No, obviously, maker. of course, we had Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, hold on. This guy doesn't think Doughty can make the jump. I mean, Robinson can't make the jump, but he thinks Doughty can. Yeah, You're a man, sick it? man, you know man. that. Open You're a sick man. man. Hey, man. He sees Robinson at home with Doughty. That's why. Real man. man. Open your no. third eye. Real <laughs> man. That's this room against the two-four. Obviously, Chelsea, um, Leicester, which was an eventful game. Um, was that 4-2 in the end? 4-2 in Yeesh. the end, yeah. 2-0 no up, then 2-2 two, two draw, and then two goals at the end. Um... I think the takeaway for me from this game was that Chelsea actually have talented players, but it doesn't surprise me we get into these situations because you have so many young players. We play like an under-21 side where mm. anything happens, you're like, oh my gosh. We scored a freak, the, the most random own goal ever and your head's just That dropped. was hilarious, by the way. That that Comedy. was fully Sanchez's fault, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know the sassy, what are you doing playing a high pass like yeah, that? But yeah. Sanchez, where are you? Where's the angle? And you could see the throwing coming the whole time and you still don't want to go back to your goal. Yeah. Listen, that, that's why Petrovic starts. No, 100%. That's why Petrovic is your number one. You could see even the way he was shaking everything during the game, you could see it. <laughs> but with Chelsea, I think the big talking point, of course, is Cole Palmer, again, once again, goal and assist in the game, showcasing why he is a you know a superb talent. Obviously, there was boost for Raheem Talk Sterling. Talk to me about Cole Palmer, though, because what is it now? He's on 25 GA, and I think this is his, what, first, this is his full first professional campaign? First full professional campaign. That's crazy, bro. He's how many how many youngsters have we seen out of the gate do that? And, and all right, Chelsea might not be competing, but the size of Chelsea's club yeah. as well, yeah. that's a big burden to hold, bro. It, and considering you've got guys like Sterling in the dressing room or Mudrick, who's meant mm. to be the big money signing, he's mm. the one that's just come through like, okay, City didn't want me. Mm. Let me show you what I'm about. But from a Chelsea fan's perspective, like, what has he been like to your team and what has he added? For me, the second he joined, I said, this is a footballer. Mm. Like, ultimately, don't get me wrong, everyone plays football, but there's certain IQ and upbringing he's had from seat that you see, the touch, the pass appreciation, the way he dribbles. He's not quick or anything, but he's able to utilise himself to score great goals, pick great passes. The football IQ is beautiful. And I remember yeah. I said it here, where I said, he will be the difference because he can play football. And what's great about it is, in terms of Europe's top five leagues, 21 years on, on, and under, he's got the most goals and assists. Yeah. The only person that can really chat to him and near him is Drew Benningham, is which I was saying a few weeks ago when I said that. He's, there's, they're levelling. As you said, first senior um, campaign, mm. he's doing this. He's doing this on the backdrop with someone that he looked <coughs> up to coming through the academy, mm. supposed to be the main man, having to take the mantle. And mm. the team that's this, this, there's no leaders in that team. <laughs> yeah. So he's putting up, not only is he putting up great performances, he's getting the output as well. Yeah. And it's credit to his mentality, number one, and to his ability. But what I find really refreshing about all of this is, like, even if you look at it in terms of importance to us, there's six different occasions he's got a goal and assist in the game. No one else has done that in the league. No mm. one else. Mm. So it's not just assists, he's getting both. And people say, yeah, he's got penalties, penalties. Those penalties were important at the time. Yeah. So I respect Still him. Back them. Still, Still got, got back then, bro. They thought, they, they and, thought and, Tim and, Sherwood was waffling. I said real journalism <laughs> right there. As he told everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, get some good players around you. <laughs> no, I can't lie, though. That's that was, real journalism. That was crazy from Tim Sherwood. Bro, That's like real journalism. Maybe from no, us, man. No, 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 like, no, no, no. we're trying to call Pablo. Like, hey, there. you need better players thing, around you. Tim Sherwood, come on, bro. You're a seasoned bro. Come on, man. I've done, no, it is. I've done TV with Sherwood before in it from Premier League. That's just how he is. He can't keep his intrusive thoughts in the head. He just has to say it as it is. So, like, that with the, what he was trying to say, he was trying to say, listen, we should be playing to you. We shouldn't be playing to anyone else. Yeah, yeah. And I will say what he didn't say in black and white. He was probably saying, ultimately, if Raheem Sterling is the one that's getting all the utilisation and whatnot, all the minutes and whatnot, why is it not you? Why is it not you that gets to pick where you want to play in the middle mm. or the wide and whatnot? And the reason why that is, is because Raheem Sterling is the senior pro in the team. He is the biggest earner at the club. And when he joined Chelsea, it was one of supposed to be those things where this is your team now. If we're being honest about the situation, for whatever reason, he scored the goal against City. We had the Champions League goal and everything, but yeah. it's not gone the way we thought it would go for him starting. That's no slight on him, but it's not gone the way we thought. We thought this was going to be a move where you're gone from being sort of a utilization or mm. you know far post Raheem and you're going to be superstar Raheem. Similar to when it was the England Euros. You know how it was that he was his tournament. Mm. Yeah. We thought it was going to be that time for him. And Kane in that front too. Exactly, yeah. and it's not worked. And I think what's happening now is it's like he's struggling to sort of regain his importance. Bro, the, he's stealing the, penalties. The penalty today was a prime <laughs> example of where it's like, I need to I need to do this. <clears throat> His performances are not great. And obviously Poch is still utilising him because yeah. he thinks, well, I need one senior guy here. He needs to, for the, left, the, the rest of the season, find what he needs to do. 
because at the end of the day, these boys love him. Yeah. I, I promise you, no one's speaking bad about him. All of them are defending him and whatnot. They look up to him. At the end of the day, if you're what, 21, you watch this guy rip up everything. This is yeah. big bro. Mm -hmm. You know what we used to say about in the England camp? Mm -hmm. For Rashford, for Tammy yeah. Nemo. This man is big bro. So he needs to find something within himself that he gets back to the form. Because at the end of the day, if you're earning 350K and you're the main guy, there's a certain level that we expect to you. Raheem's not a scrub. Mm. We can't say he's done now. What is he, mm. what, 27? Yeah. No, you no, still got no, he's not 27. And, and, and Raheem not. is 30 in December. Bro, they, so first you beat the yeah. peak. Hey, he grew up quick. Oh, Raheem's a, <laughs> yes, what? Is. Raheem is 30 in December, bro. 30? Yes. 30 or 29? Which he's, one? He's 29 Sammy. now. He's 30 in December. Yeah, yeah, 27. You lot nice. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, he you're is. right. Yeah. So, that, so, that, <laughs> so that, if he's 30, then you should be like right now in your in your pump. Do you know what though? No, I think I think the, th the thing with Sterling is he's coming as like a seasoned pro, and yeah. you're saying it might not work for him. But I think the one thing I'll always give Sterling, he's had an elite mentality yeah. for me. He's always been able to bounce back from whenever there's pressure. Any adversity, against him. exactly. Any adversity he's yeah. had, he's been able to bounce back. My thing is, is I hope. He doesn't almost like leave this Chelsea situation this summer or whatever because <clears throat> honestly, I was saying to you kind of pre the show, I was mm. like, with Sterling, he's a weird one because he's a Premier League legend. He's mm. like, he's done things for England. He scored over 100 Premier League goals, mm. but he's not loved by any club he's actually really played mm. for. Liverpool fans don't really love him like that. Mm. City fans don't really love him like that. Mm. And now the new fan base is almost like turning on him. Mm. So for me, I think the best thing you can do is almost like dig your heels in, work as hard as Ride possible. It, out. it sounds cliche, mm. yeah. but yeah almost ride out the storm. Yeah. Listen, you're going through a rough patch now. Understand mm. it. You're trying to do the thing where maybe, all right, I'll take a penalty here and there to mm. just boost it up. It's mm. not working. Mm. Back to basics, bro. bro and and for me, I just hope he doesn't almost like throw his toys out of the pram thinking, mm. right, there's bare young bucks, mm. Cole Palmer shining. Mm. I should be the star. Mm. Almost have that ego about you. No, mm. just adjust. Even yeah. if I got to be dropped to bench, mm. yeah. I'll hold and it for two months and it, I will earn my spot back. The reason why it has thing. to happen as well, because I, I will say Thiago Silva has probably gone at the end of the season. You are literally that the remaining senior pro. What the Sassi is twenty six, yeah. won a World Cup, and whatnot. There's not many, so you still have the opportunity to make this team your team, make it your home. And but trust, that only no, I, and I tr no, no, no. But hear this: that those wingers, I don't think like Noni, Mudrik. Mm. I don't think anybody's gonna really cement that spot to the point where it's like Sterling ain't going to get Facts. any minutes. Mm. Even if Sterling does get relegated to the bench or whatever, mm. next season he's not starting as consistent. Mm. I think if he keeps his head down mm. when he comes on those 20 minutes yeah. and you're a threat, you're getting goals here and there and then mm. it's like, hold on, why, why did we drop this guy? We know mm. what Sterling's mm. about and it's like, you almost forget those bad patches. We've Facts. seen yeah, players go through good and bad forms and I think right now he's just going through maybe the worst thing, form yeah. of his life, yeah, yeah. if you like, of his career. We haven't seen Sterling at this low point mm. but it's also, let's be honest, the scenario and situation yeah, at Chelsea has not been helpful, if that makes sense. Just, so for me, I just don't want to blow it out of proportion where it's mm, like, yeah. ah, get rid of him. Yeah. Uh, look at the way he's skied that free kick. Yeah. And it's like, it's mm. easy to be reactionary. Mm. But no, let's but remember who Sterling is, is though, as well. But yeah, yeah, I hear that. But the thing is though, now obviously he hasn't lost his pace and all that stuff. But the thing is, <clears throat> let's not act silly. Sterling's doing the exact same things we've seen him do his whole career. Miss open chances, hits not strike the ball well, get in good positions and be quite wasteful. We've seen this his whole career. At City, he was just being put in better positions that he was having less opportunity to make them type of mistakes. And even so, we still saw a real big catalogue of clear misses in Raheem Sterling's career. We, we've seen it. And the difference is now, he hasn't got like a Pep who's basically, yes, you're going to be at this back post and we've got all these better players around. Mm -hmm. Now the responsibility is being given to him. Sterling's not a different player than he was at Man City. Yeah. He's not a different player. He's the same thing. So what I'm saying is the fans booing him, they're booing him for what Raheem Sterling is. You guys are saying it like, oh, he's on poor form. This is Raheem Sterling. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be honest. This is Raheem Sterling. I'm not saying he's a bad player. Mm. We've all rated Raheem Sterling for his career. Mm. But this is Raheem Sterling. He's a player that gets in good positions. He's good at like squaring it and the cutbacks and stuff, which he got the assist for. Mm. He has a knack for goals at times, but we, he's always been a wasteful, frustrating player. But, but to the point you're saying, like, the, I think the key one, I think for a lot of fans as well is, you're mentioning squaring it, it's the cheat code. Mm -hmm. I could probably count to you four or five <clears> times this season where everyone's like, but that is your bread and butter. How have you not managed to square it? And I think it's because of the moment. I, if I don't, I, don't, I don't chat to the guy, I don't, but I genuinely think Palmer. he, huh? You reckon he's jealous of Palmer? I don't think it's a jealousy thing, but I think sometimes it's hard to comprehend. At the end of the day, you're a little bro. Mm. You are a little bro. You are, your poster's everywhere. You're shining. Everyone's singing your name. I'm now having to sort yeah, of- he's not, yeah, but he's, I, no, but I'd understand this if, 
if he was a Chelsea legend, you're not a Chelsea legend, bro. Yeah, boy, no, like, if, 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 if he walked re- into, like, if, 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 if Ronaldo, when he walked into thingy and there's gigs and you're, you're, you're a United legend, you've done it, you've won it. You ain't won nothing at Chelsea. So even when you are saying this is little bro, it, you shouldn't have that mentality, yeah, bro. True. You shouldn't no. have that. You've done nothing at Chelsea. No. Cole Palmer's a, you're both on the same blank sheet. Yeah. And he's outdoing you, bro. Simple as that. No, I agree. It but shouldn't be a case where it's your little bro. Yeah. And bro, bro, yeah, I get it. Because Cole Palmer was at City on the bench while Sterling mm. was driving probably. Mm. But he hasn't done anything at Chelsea to have that. And listen, we're assuming. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, Sterling yeah, yeah. might not even have that mentality. He yeah, might not even be thinking that. Yeah. But I have seen a few occasions. That's... Why do you think Palmer gave him the penalty? And did you see Palmer threw the ball in his face? But that was the second, that was the second, third time I've seen Palmer about to go for a pen and, and Sterling's there like, give me that, give me that, give me that. Yeah. Like, brother, but you're not even a also, pen taker. Not, not to take this away. <laughs> but he's, he's, he's actually <laughs> missing yeah. all these scores. And not to take it away, I think that's where, when you look at the Chelsea squad as well, that is the sort of seniority thing coming to play. But then, manager, manager, if he managed, please, like, if you said what the penalty takers are, can you can you instruct that we're going to stick to plan? Because yeah. ultimately that nearly threw the game. We would have won the game from that point. And, it's, and I think that's why when you look at Chelsea season, games like this are just a culmination <coughs> of how everything's so mad. Carney comes on. No, um, you start seeing, you give, you go, I go football. <coughs> Chukwu Mecca just starts quick. And it's like, there's so much talent here. You put a really good tweet out about Nico Jackson. It's just about piecing it together. And I feel like, like I said before, Sacking a potch at this moment now doesn't do anything to you. You don't mm. learn anything. He hasn't lost the change room. They're still obviously playing for him. There's still a lot going on. We're back at Wembley. Can this team continue to develop and do well? I thought Casado looked great today. It's, I think, I think, getting, I think in, improving. in each week he's getting better and better. I think Gallagher, similar to what you said about McTominay, about playing to your strengths and whatnot. Yes, there might be a few passes that's got here and there, but you can't fault the guy that plays for the badge and gives everything. Can't fault him. So <coughs> all in all, City is not the most ideal draw. But again, like anytime you play the big teams, mm. we actually get a performance. You ain't lost against City this season. No, it was the 4-4 and the 2-2, no? So <laughs> Why not? You get me? Why you not? Me? You, me? you said insult. Why they not? Give me insult. Bro, why not? <laughs> Do your team shows. No, 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 no one, no one wants to talk about Mudrick today. No, so I, that's what I was going to get yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Talk about Mudrick. Mudrick, no, Mudrick. He was I. Oh, he was good. Mudrick was good. Mudrick was good. Never wants to give Mudrick was good. Flowers, oh, what? Mudrick was good. Mudrick was good. Through the ten, Mudrick for the ten was good. He had a good. was good. He had a good game. He had a good game, bro. He was so average in the second half. It's unbelievable, bro. Come on. He had a decent first half. In the second half, he was poor. Only reason why everyone was booing because they wanted Sterling off the pitch. He like he got. That's the only reason they were booing because Sterling was so bad. It's like why is he not coming off? But Mudrick, let's not act like he was doing anything in the second half. Mudrick had a good game. What I would say about Mudrick by his standards, from what we've seen, Mudrick had a good game. Saying for his standards, Mudrick has had a few good performances now in a row, bro. This guy invested stocks in Mudrick. It's not about investing stocks. Yo, hold on, hold on. Can't. Let's not do agenda here. Objectively, let me finish. Objectively, the last few games he's been good, bro. The last game when he scored, and what about that before that? I can't Magic remember. Exactly. I'm, t- I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tell you, you're going specifically. I'm just trying to say the last few games he has been good, bro. You can't every single game. I, oh, it's for standards. He's okay. I, I, I highly want to you, know, you have the, to give him his flowers eventually. I'll, I'll I, I, I strongly to disagree. Keep the the I'll, I'll summarize well, <coughs> summar- <coughs> Mudrick like this. Mudrick here is what 23, and you look at him and you go, I can see a player there potentially. The issue is, it's very difficult to say I see a player about someone that you spent 100 million on. That's the bottom line. But if I you're gotta start giving more, we, you've mm-hmm. got to start giving more credit to Brennan Johnson. I have yeah. got to start yeah. giving more credit to yeah. Canacho because if yeah. if this is a good Mudrick yeah. performance and we should be sitting here saying good, 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 then Brennan Johnson and Ganacho have been cooking every single week. But this, this is but, ridiculous. <laughs> this, what are you guys talking about? No, I'm I'm going for away from that. I'm saying they're trying general, to raise the bar from the floor no, to the. Oh my what lord! I'm, what I'm saying in general is. Any discourse on Mudrick is always going to be a thing where it's not palatable because at the end yeah. of the day, it needs more time. No, what? No, but it needs more time. If you're saying that, I see I mean, him playing more timing of good form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense. Two games isn't enough. Yeah. But I'm just saying that he looks good today. That's how I, I saw him. Not he looked first. good. Milo Gosto doing what <coughs> Gosto does. People now are like, oh, he's irreplaceable. But when I said it five weeks ago, everyone laughed at me. He got, I said put, in a, he got put in a blender. He got put though. in a real blender. Bl- <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it is? But you know what it is? Bro, no, bro, you know what it is? Bro, do you know what it is? Bro, do you know what it is? Bro, looked at him and said, listen, forget about prom. I, 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 prom. I saw you. I saw you in yeah, Leon, bro. Montpellier, Let's Leon, bro. Let's dance, bro. Yeah. Let's dance. Let's say, let's say, we be. No, but yeah, no. Didi's a sleeper, bro. He, no, he's he's, he's a good player. Good. If they get to the prem, I'm gonna look forward to seeing him. KDH didn't have the best games, but you can see that he's a decent player. Yeah. Um, Fatuasu's. Who's Rihul? 
I thought he was said KDH. 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 Yeah. KDH. That's what we <laughs> has got these random That's what they call him, KDH. <laughs> hey, have I you ever called Jewsbury Hall KDH? That's what that's the first one, KDH. That's what they call him. Bro, abbreviation. I love Mayor, you know. That's what they call him. Abbreviations are going too far. That's what they call him. Do you know what two things that need to end in football, right? The player's name and the number next to them. Unless it's got a real ring to it, CR7, R9. Everyone's just getting names now. What is it? KM37 or something for Kobe mm. Mainu or whatever. Lowry. Let's stop all this shit. You know KM I mean? is now, killing him back now, as well. Now you're Get telling, your own initials. Now you're telling me KDH, right? That's what Drew's they call him. Old, bro. <laughs> That's what they call him. Nah, man. Oh, the special players earn those monikers. Nah. You know what I mean? Like, but no, all in all, good good moment for Chelsea. Going back to Wembley, City is a tough game, but it is where it is, man. Speaking of City, though, we know we only spoke to them briefly, but we have to address the elephant in the room. They're on track for a treble. Mm. They're on track to potentially um, get to um, four four prems. But there was actually something quickly on the Raheem Sterling thing because Rashford before the goal, his performances were a bit, you know, mm. Sterling's performances today. Mm. Mm. England, he's not going. Sterling's not going. Of course, Sterling's not going to and the then, Euros. And then with Rashford, oh, yeah, Rashford is going to the Euros. Is he starting? I think he will. I actually think he's going to start at the Euros. I actually that think left wing position is a weird one. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Grealish is injured. Rash is... Um, Sancho think- Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> way. Hey, hey. Listen, let me not- I see in Champions League goals. Yeah, That's uh, all the... Not like what I've got to say. Did Sterling just get called up to the recent squad? No, 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 no. no. That's it. Bro, he ain't been called up in a minute. Yeah. Book a holiday. Yeah, yeah. I can't lie. There's something... I, they're not going to... I'm not... I'm, it's not me saying it, but there's a certain so-and-so that they said he's going to tear his ACL. He, huh? he came back to life. Anthony Gordon's probably tried to cook something for that, so I don't oh, promise yeah. you. But what happened to him? Ain't he injured now? Bro, he played. What do you mean he injured? Wait, he what are you saying he's out till the season? Yeah. Bro, what do you mean he played? What are you talking about? That's <laughs> no, what I'm saying. That's they said he's so out for the crazy. season. He's in the England squad. Wolverine. He played against Man City. Wolverine. That's for crazy. Real. Anthony Gordon might try and uh, get, get me. Get get he might try and get into little England squad. You get me, Southgate? He might, he might. He might. He got called up, though. Yeah, he's that's what I'm saying. squad, yeah, yeah. He's trying to load a little something on that side. But let's go to these super chats, then we're going to City's trouble hopes and, of course, Champions League. Mm. Production, let's go. Yeah, S says you men dissed Jesus and Zinchenko far more, even though they've been level raisers. Yet Sterling's been a flop for over eighteen months in its poor form. Dishonest agendas. Can I respond to that? Wait, what? What did he say? Can I respond said to that? He said you guys, you, man, you, you guys, got you, got it, yeah. you said you men dissed Jesus and Zinchenko far more than Sterling, even though they've been level raisers. Yet Sterling's been a flop for over eighteen months in its poor form. Dishonest agendas. Was he not the one that was being the culprit for when they bottled crunch time last year? BCM they were saying, Jesus, you know? and then BCM, BCM, they're calling him this season. They're, they're looking for a new number nine. So give it a rest, please. Boy, I listen, understand you want to defend your players, but all what, have been poor. And nobody's they, saying Sterling's not poor, mm. but I'm saying Sterling is definitely going through the worst patch of form in his life. Mm. The worst thing he can do, I'm saying, is almost like run away run from away Chelsea. Because yeah. you're not loved at any club, bro at least grind it out and try yeah, and get some love here. I think to, to that point though, Fuad, I think whether he wants to stay or not, I think that project is moving past him. Because let's not forget, so. he wasn't a Todd Bowley signing. He was a Thomas Tuchel signing under Abram. Wait, no, he was... No, okay, he Todd was Bowley a Bowley was right signing. There, but the it was still under... These it, was, it, was still under Tom, uh, it was still under Thomas Tuchel though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he was but, a Bowley signing. Uh, there's, there's mad stuff there as well. That was his first signing, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bowley was like, listen, like, let's let's do this. So like, there there is a there is a place for him. But what he apologized. Well, he apologized, so... What I would say though is, uh, you know, I've been I've been noticing something. How many goals has Jesus got this season? Four, I think. How many goals has that trophy final got this season? Four or five? Who? Six. For final for Brian, for Burnley. How many goals has he got this season? For final has four. He has four. Yeah. How many games has he played? Not that much. Eight. Yeah, I can't remember. Okay, maybe. cool. Let's move on. Anyway, <laughs> um, super chats. Uh, Jiba Football says Cam's past take on Jackson doesn't have to sound crazy. He's starting to bully defenses on his own now. Watch out for Carney, powerful with twinkle toes. Uh, Cryptic Dino says yeah. England as a nation never deserved Sterling. Why are you creating a narrative that he's jealous of Palmer? Didn't he set up a goal for him today? Yeah, that's mm. what I'm saying. You don't. You can't say he's jealous. No, not say, no one's saying he's jealous. We're saying that mm. at the end of the day, he's a man. Like certain shit. Like you came. This was you are supposed to be the head of this franchise. It's not working like that at the moment. That's a mm-hmm. normal thing. We see it when star players all the time. It's like it's supposed to be in my moment. I can't fit in. See, it like Bruno's a different thing, but we see what happens with Bruno. Where it looks like because he's not going his way, it, it, it's annoying. Mm-hmm. No one's clearly in the an agenda. Mm-hmm. He's just he's Sterling is going for a tough moment. It's clear to see, but he'll bounce back. Uh, Arthur says Sterling needs to hold the bench. Mudrick is on good form. Give him a run. Pochettino's an idiot for taking off Mudrick first. Big up Carney, Nani, Jackson, and Cole Palmer. Let me sponsor that one. 
Poch came out and you know what, fair play to him. He actually had some smoke. He was like, listen, we saw Mudrick stretch him. We've seen how he's been this week. At the end of the day, I'm not substituting for the sake of it. That's why he came off first and whatnot. It's the first time I've seen him not speak like a Spurs manager. He was I like, mean, Poch's subs won the game. Yeah, 100%. Carney and Donny, innit? Yeah, exactly. so, so people are dissing his subs. His subs but, won the game. So yeah, I expect it. Go on. Smash the like button whilst you're here as well, by the way. Uh, yeah. We at 1K yet? No, let's get to 1K. 1K. Let's 4K get 1K. watching. We ain't at 1K. Damn. Let's yeah, get that up. God damn. S says Mudrick's been good against championship sides only. Natish says Mudrick Hive holds strong. We rich next season, baby. <laughs> uh, there was another one as well too. Let me find it real quick. Uh, how, okay. People are running revisionism on Mudrick like he's amazing. Just because Sterling's on a bad patch, need to calm down. Let's not lie to ourselves. And then D Sims asks, and this is a good segment to the next one. How many real men do Spurs really have? I got a question for Fuad before we start. Mm. You guys had a plan for Ollie Watkins. Mm. Did you guys not have a plan for Muniz? Mm. <laughs> no plan for Muniz. Hey, <laughs> 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 the gun jumped. <laughs> Bro, I cannot lie to you. That was one horrendous game to watch. Horrendous performance, bro. We got scored from minute one to minute 90. Mm. And I'm sorry. You see that one? Mm -hmm. He got outclassed. And and normally where we see, you know, a, a bit of halftime reaction, maybe the hairdryer treatment comes out. At, we looked lost all game. We lacked ideas. That midfield absolutely stunk the place out as well like mm. what, what, what did uh, X say we had it will be looking like a Nigerian Neymar mm. bro it was, <laughs> it was crazy Madison one of his worst performances in the shirt mm. Saar completely MIA Basuma outside of City I would say probably his worst performance mm. wingers non-existent bro like and defence were just there basically to be fed bro because every time just wave after wave whenever they come nobody's tracking their runners nobody's mm. following up on anything so it's like Bro, we were baby food yesterday and, and, and it makes the win last week pretty much worthless. There's no point going to Villa or winning 4-0 away or whatever if the following week you're just going to follow up with a 3-0 battering like mm. that as well. It's not just losing, it's the manner in which you're losing as well. So, brother... I have, I have an observation. Not, I, have, I have an observation. It's a, yeah, I have, I have an observation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you said the midfield. Yeah. Who's your midfield? Basuma, Saar and Madders. Uh, the strongest and midfield. Johnson that's, and Kulusevsky that's, that's the strong. That's the strongest midfield. So yeah. against Fulham, yeah. in the London derby, the Madison Coyne wasn't... Mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. I, 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 I saw Odegaard midweek. this has been his one. <laughs> I saw, I saw Odegaard <laughs> midweek. <laughs> Put the, on his back. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, right? This is FCM right now. You mm. get me? So you gotta well, be. Do you see this brother here? It's mm. been a tough week for him. No. Right now, right? <laughs> it's been a tough week. It actually ain't. Well, I've no. been getting, I've been getting, I've been getting at it everywhere. Like, no, listen, let's regulate. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. let's regulate. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. 99% percent of of his tough week yeah. hasn't been on this platform. Yeah, you get me? Yeah, yeah. So we are here yeah. to regulate. It's yeah, like yeah. therapy now. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's yeah. in that seat. Where We're here to like, let's just yeah. get everything uh, back smoothly, yeah. back on the right. Should I lay down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's 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 get everything back. To normal, you have right? to ask him, okay, so how, are you, how so are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, first of all, how are you feeling? Long week, a lot of fans have been against you, yeah. you know, attacking you. Yeah, how are you feeling about that, first and foremost? I'm fine with that, to be fair. That's part and parcel of the game, baby. Okay, okay, and cool. now I've got to just discuss some of the things that you have. <laughs> Let me sit right for this. Can we go now? Let's go back to the Arsenal discussion about the back fours with Spurs, yeah. right? Do you stand maybe two months later, still stand on Spurs have a better back four? than Arsenal. No. And and I'll and I'll specify in that mm -hmm. argument as well, we did specify that it was <coughs> the full backs. The centre backs, we can have our little arguments, but right now the way they're looking, <laughs> best defensive record. Mm. I hold my hands up. <laughs> there, <okay. laughs> yeah, I mean. there we go. So <laughs> that's wait, wait, the first okay. they said that the first, okay, okay. the first they said the <laughs> first <laughs> wait, the first um the first part of it is is admittance. Yeah. The first stage of recovery is admittance there we go. of that of the issue. So that's yes. great. So that's, they, that's what we do. So Let's move to we're, we're cleaning we're cleaning that one up. Okay, okay, cool. Now we'll go to the second one, which is um the preseason. Do you prediction. still have the preseason? So mm. this is the one that went super viral. Yeah. This where you went hilarious. Brick, brick, 
Brick, Brick, <laughs> right? Number three. You said, <laughs> you know that one? Manchester United will finish in the top three, I no, think. No, you said no, the top will challenge them, for the league. Challenges. For Challenging yeah. for the league. You yeah. said Chelsea. Don't be surprised when Chelsea start cooking. And yo, hold on, and hold then, on, hold on. Oh. I got my own beef with Fuad. Yeah. And then he went on a platform with me to say, who even predicted Chelsea would come to the top four? You're shameless. And then, I'll get to it. And then, and then finally, you said, Arsenal? <laughs> when people see Arsenal, they are, people are going to act like Arsenal are going to be surprised when Arsenal don't do Yo. shit. <laughs> can you, do you, one can you one. please can explain one one? this one? Because okay, okay, that okay. was straight you know? three misses, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was brick, brick, brick. Yeah. You see that, yeah? That's when the hatred has got to your heart too much. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest. You see there? I was on AFTV and that was a North London derby preview. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think I'm giving them man flowers on that day? Mm-hmm. Oh, hell no. My blood mm. was filled with hate. My heart was filled with hate. Mm. So I said, hey, get out of here. Mm. I ain't predicting you, man, for nothing. Mm. So listen, we got that one wrong as well. Mm-hmm. Is that listen, got them, got listen, them three wrong. We, 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 can, we, can, we, can, we can get some wrong. We can get mm-hmm. some right. And there was one that they also did. There's <laughs> another one. I'm telling you, this lip. The, this Wait, there's, 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 there's more. There's more. There's more. Yeah. It's been a tough week. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's been a tough it week. Is. There's yeah. another one where um, it was also, they were talking about, I think it was you said something about you're watching the rest of the league from the Spurs eye view. I think that's what they, that's what it was that's or something good. like that. I think they were saying that it was a comp, it was a compilation basically of Abby and yourself basically mm. saying that you guys basically have an eye on the title race. That's one that went right. You might not have even seen it because, bro, your I, mentions must be just yeah, yeah. be getting crazy you know at the yeah. moment. I don't have mentions on from people who don't, don't follow, follow you. So yeah. I don't, I don't see yeah. three quarters of this. Yeah. You are just having a laugh. I'm like, yeah. I didn't even know this was going on. Yeah. The rest, I think the rest of the allegations are against tapping Oluwa Tobes yeah. because he was talking about, don't, don't put Pursuit <laughs> Moses in, Pursuit yeah, Man Declan Rice. Pursuit Man Rice, I was like, I'm glad yeah. that one weren't me. <laughs> but see, this is, what, this, this is what the show is for to regulate these yeah. type of stuff. Accountability. It's what I mean. He's running wild on the other platform. Yeah, how do you? Yeah, how do you have a platform? Me. How do you, yes. don't, don't bring that here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> how, do, how do you feel now that you've addressed it? Listen, it is. What, I said I can. I can admit when I'm wrong. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And listen, we get some fair play wrong. to you. This is the thing about content. We're here giving our opinions on a weekly basis. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get some things right. Mm. You're gonna get some things wrong. You see, last week. When I cooked Ollie Watkins, mm. I was having a field day. Mm. I what got about, my what, shit right. What about this week with the tweet before the game? And then, and then this week, yeah, this was another one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But that one, that one wasn't a prediction, you see. That was more wishful thinking. I said, an away win at Villa, an away win today, I will love it. And I think I deserve it. They said, no, you deserve something else, brother. Uh, hold this. Uh, so listen, the game is the game, man. We man. hold the L's when we, when we, when we lose. I was going to say, with the, the um, <laughs> it's a, kind of a, a soft segue, but with this whole potential fifth place being enough for Champions League, um, from a Spurs perspective, how, how do you feel about that? Well, now, Arsenal, you know. <laughs> hey, guys. Can I do us a favour? Come on, guys. Salam, my brothers. You know what's really happened? Salam, my brother. Nah, because like, huh? brother. you know, nah, I think it will depend on basically how well the team's do in the next round of the Champions League or if someone wins the now, Conference apparently right now, it's currently, it's currently on for the Premier League. It's I think. Premier League yeah. or Serie A, I think, yeah, is yeah, between yeah. the two who's going to get the extra points. So, listen, if we get fourth, which is still for me the target, let's go for it. If not, fifth will be nice, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what the situation of Fuad right now is, right? You know the expression when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Yeah. Yeah. Fuad's hatred is the unstoppable force. <laughs> Arsenal's form is the immovable object right now. <laughs> you, you know what? Just... <laughs> <laughs> They're coming straight at each other. Hey, bro. listen, the season ain't over though. I've got yeah. a question for you. What do you say? The season ain't over. I've got a question for you. If Arsenal win the league, what would you do? I'm moving to Somalia. Mm. Well, someone asked you a super chat, actually. I think it was a, a similar question that they mm. asked you last time, but I guess you're just going to repeat the same thing. Fuad, would you take Manchester City beating Spurs if it meant that Arsenal didn't win the league? So City basically beating Spurs and eliminating them from top four Yeah. if it meant that Arsenal didn't win the league? Yeah, yeah. I'll Great take that. question. Europa League, we go again. <laughs> Bro, we ain't won oh, yeah, Europa League. Yeah, yeah. We could win that. I don't mind. Yeah, they asked that last week, though. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think yeah, they asked yeah, that. I, asked I, think, I think they asked Listen, that last yeah. week. That's, that's, that's me, I natural. think that would that's be, that would, of course, as any Spurs fan, bro, you don't want to mm. see your rivals win. Mm. Like, uh, people shouldn't be surprised by that. Yeah. But I think that would be the, you know for the me, the worst one is, you know the yeah. would be the Champions one? League, bro. Mm. If they won the Champions League. And I said, Modern League. 
Bro, more than league, oh, they've never won the, the Champions League. Because you guys lost the final as well. They, and, and the thing is, it's like, I, I actually, funnily enough, predicted them for semis. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah. next round, it's like, yo, yeah, yeah. damned if you do, damned yeah, if you yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hope they remember that prediction, though. Yeah, yeah, I hope they remember that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> but um, I think, yeah, flexing if they win that, dude, you're down be, a thousand be, points. That would be worse. <laughs> Shut up, yeah? You stick to the ones and twos. <laughs> you know what's so funny, yeah? You know what's so funny is that... um. You know what, in this show, right? In this show, people, yeah? In this show, Fuad has actually been quite decent with, with Arsenal. But yeah, this yeah. season, I don't know what's taken over him, bro. Mm. He just hate that, that no. Fuad's always, he always hate. He's always celebrated mm. Arsenal L's a lot. Mm. But the, 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 you def, the, the hate has risen. The Do you know what it is? There was a moment. It's the Arsenal fan base, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, the, yeah. I, I, don't ha- I don't actually have an issue with the team. Mm, mm, the mm. team present. It's the fan base, mm. bro. The only thing you had—they are yeah. relentless, bro. Remember the only Saka. thing he had, yeah, was Saka. He was always on Saka. Saka. <laughs> always on Saka. <laughs> That's the one. Bukaki, but he was <laughs> fair with everything else. Yeah. But then this season, yeah, yo, yeah. it's been an all-out. Your, your ability assault. to be objective has just gone out the window. <laughs> No, <laughs> last week guys, he said he it's said Ramadan. 55. It's Ramadan. Mm. I'm working on myself. Mm-hmm. We're look, we're working to improve ourselves. Yes, and I'm hoping the hate in my heart mm-hmm. we can get over that too. Yes, so, there we go. This listen, is this growth. Yeah. This is growth from this, this platform. Growth, you know this mean? is growth. Last week, this is what we do here. He said they have a one percent chance of winning the league. Yeah, that was so. I mean, listen, <laughs> don't get it twisted, guys. One thing, let me warn you guys right now, though. Right, this brother is apologizing. Now, hold on. This brother is apologizing to you now. If Arsenal don't win the league, if they don't win anything, bro, I know for that he's bookmarked everything. Yeah. The guy took him up my mentions. Yeah. I don't see him. Yeah. Yeah. He, he bookmarked everything. If Arsenal don't win, the league, you are about to see yeah. one of the biggest heel turns yeah. of all time. Like, uh, he's about to be like Hollywood the Rock. Rock. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood Rock. Hollywood Rock. Hollywood I'm telling you, the now, Rock. This the Rock what says, he's about to do. Oh my the, god! You don't guys, take comfort in his apology. Listen, you guys think he's been going gym for no reason? I have a bookmark folder. Just no, I don't have all my bookmarks are in one. Man's There's some folder. awesome stuff in these specific ones. <laughs> you must. Man's, man's got chat GPT. <laughs> AI, 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 AI bots collecting tweets. Hey. Oh man. But let's talk about this Champions League. We've been in and arm and around it. Have we got any super chats before we go into actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so go super chats and go Champions League. 403 MC2. I two. Seats too. <laughs> <laughs> 403 MC2 says center backs, we can have our arguments. Fuad, that was reckless. Stay in your own lane, chicken ball FC. Uh, I, yeah, I think the fullbacks, I think the center backs for Arsenal about. I think the fullbacks for Spurs about. Uh, that was what the main argument was hinged on, but mm, hey, the mm. internet's the internet. Move. Uh, HR says quadruple meant conceding four at Old Trafford. Mm, uh, that's good, that's good, Mavs. Lamine C says you can't spell fraud without Fuad, that's all. Well, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, not really. Come so, see, hey, come in, so, that brother come needs to go to school. No, but it is, we've that done that, everyone has done that, but then I was trying to see, because usually yeah, when they say yeah, that, it's like a, it's yeah, close, yeah, there's, yeah, no, yeah. there's nothing breaking no. it up. Yeah. You get me, there's bro. an R, the U and A, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. bro, no, 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 back to the real ball for you. Uh, I said, wait, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, I hear what he's trying to do, you know what I mean? Cesar <laughs> says, so sick of Spurs PR every August. Anyone else notice? Any- bro, we... We were saying this in August ourselves in Spurs. Do you remember yeah. when I was saying, don't involve us in any title yeah. race? Don't. It was all the media who was trying to run that up. Spurs fans knew, so don't, don't try and say Spurs yeah. PR. And then, find, oh no, Baum Duter says, Palmer's about to overtake Sterling on goals, even though Sterling has twice as many appearances at this club. Crazy work. Oof. Yeah. And then Listen, s- for, you see Cole Palmer quickly. You know, um, for that under 21s play at Chelsea, he's eclipsed what Hazard did. Is it? Oof. Is he under going 21s. to the Euros? He should do. I, th- I think he should. As the, as the, as he just the, made the England team recently. Is he going? Yeah, he's the, been yeah. selected in the last squad. So, but how much do? You, how much of the squad that you took now? Yeah. We, I think you still can take more players than can go. I think it's only twenty three that can go. Many, it's only twenty three. Numbers went, but if he goes, it will be sort of the is this back up to Saka. No, right? I think it'll be that. It'll be that Jack Grealish role. You know, the sort of like. Get on the nah. ball and mm. no, no. But I'm saying, but what I position? Think back up to Saka. Yeah, to back Saka, up to Saka. I don't think got, direct. England haven't got a right winger other than Saka. Yeah, I agree. Mm. I think it's back up to Saka. But again, where's he going to play? And then Foden's Foden? in, in the middle. Foden. Foden's in the ten. Foden's going to do that. Pro- Foden probably because if you start Hendo, I mean, because Saka's obviously got the right hand side. Yeah. So Foden will either be a midfield or the left. That's probably what I'm expecting. Mm. Midfield but or the left. But if Rush starts, yeah, then then that's that's the decisions you got to make. But that's what I'm saying. So. Where's Foden? I think I mean, Palmer goes. Palmer though. gonna go. Palmer goes for sure. No, he has to. Palmer has to go. Yeah, but he'll, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Palmer's ticket. Palm. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Palmer's ticket was Raheem's ticket. Mm. Yeah, but then you got Jared Bowen as well. Yeah, it's tough, man. 
I don't want to be yeah. soft in this instance. But let's go to Champions League. Yeah, yeah. Steven also it's says you have to respect Fuad's dedication for hating. And then someone asked basically, what are you guys men's? What are you men's uh, Champions League predictions? Well, we'll get you into it now. So let's that. let's go for the let's go <laughs> generational <for> the, <laughs> hater. Yeah, let's go for the ties. So we have the Axel Witzel derby with Atletico we have a Dortmund. Not myself, and I've not had a Snickers. <laughs> we have. <laughs> you're so dumb. We have hey, Bayern man, Arsenal. <laughs> We have, oh, this guy is such a question. We've got Bayern Arsenal, of course. We've got Madrid City in mm-hmm. a repeat of that tie. And last but not least, we have, what's the one I'm missing? PSG Barcelona, mm-hmm. which is a repeat of the 6 1, right? Mm. John mm. Obi Mikel, I want to shake your hand. That was a fantastic draw. Mm-hmm. That was a great job. The way he smiled when he took everything out, <laughs> he knew he created some carnage. But let's go into it, man. Um, City Madrid, big up Faisal, his reaction. <laughs> When when they got City, it was the funniest thing. I think that's the one team they wouldn't have wanted. City. Which one? What's Faisal's reaction? City in Madrid. He's like, no, he's on stream. He's, he's on stream. Oh, no, no, and he went, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, I think The thing is, Faisal tried pretending that he wanted City. He said, the teams I don't want to play are uh, Atletico and Arsenal. And then when he drew Arsenal, you could see in his face, like, or when he drew City, you could see in his face, the guy's terrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, that's a, that's, that's a mad one. Like, after seeing how last season went, how was how the much city, was it? It was four, four nil. nil. Yeah, after seeing how last season went, I don't know. There's something about the way Real Madrid set up that I think kind of favors Man City. I don't know why. Like, I think because I think Real Madrid. You see, we know with Carlo Ancelotti's style. You know what I mean? He doesn't really go to be this kind of Control. trying to outpossess you and stuff. He let City will have most of the ball, and that's what we saw. I think even in both legs. You know what I mean? The first leg it was one one. Real Madrid did their thing decently at home. But in the second leg, that was one of the biggest schoolings you've seen at that stage ever. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It was a serious, serious schooling. I just think, look, they'll come more prepared this season. They got Jude now. They got Militao's coming back and stuff. They got some, they got a good squad, obviously. You can never count out Real Madrid, but I don't know. I just think stylistically, of just by style, I think the way City play is the worst matchup for Madrid. And when I was saying that, people were saying, well, obviously City are the best team. So is the, that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. For example, I think... Arsenal would rather stylistically play a Man City than they would an Atletico. Mm-hmm. It's different. It doesn't mean that City styles uh, make the best styles make fights. Exactly. And I just think this is the worst style that Madrid can come up against. I just think <clears> in the Champions League, especially <clears throat> when it gets to like these, <clears throat> bro, that Snickers is crazy. But um, as you're saying, stylistically, it mm-hmm. all matters. But I think once you get to these stages of the tournament, individual quality matters a lot. And I mm-hmm. think with Madrid, that is the one thing almost this season they have been able to consistently rely upon. I think Rodrigo in the Champions League, maybe not in the league, has been great. Vinny is capable of magical moments. Jude. I think Jude, this is kind of the time to really, if mm. you want to cement that Ballon d'Or run, <laughs> this might be it. Do you know what I mean? So I think if there is a team that is could knock City off that perch, mm. I think Madrid are kind of I the ones in my opinion. Part I think that be... kind of individual brilliance is what they'll probably rely on, mm. as they have done in pretty much every deep run that they've done let's yeah, be honest yeah. I think Madrid the have never difference. stylistically dominated teams it's always mm-hmm. been like Benzema yeah, come yeah, let's yeah, do yeah. our thing do you know what I mean Vinny go and turn up today mm-hmm. or whoever it is that's going to step up for them I think the biggest difference from last year too is that last year in that second leg especially I actually thought Anche- as good a game as City played in that second leg like that might be the greatest game City has ever played mm-hmm. but I think Ancelotti held Real Madrid back massively because mm-hmm. you look at that midfield of Modric, Cruz and Valverde you were really missing physicality and like yeah. Chouameni mm-hmm. was left out of that game Camavinga cool. played left back Benzema up front was like a corpse bro the guy yeah. was, physically was cooked I think this year having a Jude in that midfield Camavinga. having a Camavinga who hasn't played left back once this season too many might be playing centre back to be fair because of the injuries but not a bad one you'll, you'll yeah. have at least like midfielders who physically can compete with the Rodri yeah. the Bruyne yeah. So. Yeah. There's, they, they'll have a competitive nature to be able and I think it, for them it'll be like how long can they because obviously C, are gonna, C always have that onslaught they're going to have the possession it's how long they can sort of hold the tide back and again, I can't lie, Rudiger versus Haaland is always, is always box office. So I'm mm. looking forward to that one still. But, this, um, these are the types of games, stars. Yeah, yeah. Star studded, bro. There's going to be star names. Because Haaland blanked be... both legs, innit? Uh, Haaland Har- blanked both legs. Yeah, he did. Mm. And Saliba's and had then... up Haaland as well. And Van Dijk's been having up Haaland. Mm. Mm. Haaland against the big dogs. Mm. Big dog CBs. Mm. Mm. By, by the way, yeah, Real Madrid is... play City, or City play Real Madrid two days before they play the FA Cup semi final against Chelsea. While Real Madrid, I think, will have eight days of rest. Mm. Hey, Modric's in the hyperbolic chamber. Just, mm. <laughs> just yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, but um, who do, you, who do you have going through on that leg? I've got uh, Man City. I've I got, got Man City. City. 
I hope Real Madrid though. <laughs> Yo, I hope Real Madrid go I'm, through, but I'm I think gonna, it's gonna be Messi. Go Madrid. Go I'm Madrid. Yeah, I'm going Madrid. Right, I think. Cool. Who's home first? Um, it's the Bernabeu. Uh, Madrid are home first, yeah. yeah. yeah Which see, is another thing that's hard against. Yeah, Madrid. see, this is what I mean. Going to the Etihad when you need a result, when when City know exactly what they need to do. Yeah. Bro, Etihad, they're unbeaten in 30. I think they need five more to match um, some record. I think maybe it was Barcelona from 2009, 2000, mm. whatever. They, 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 Etihad, I know it's just we think, oh, yeah. Etihad, but Etihad on the Champions League it's night gets tough, spooky, bro. bro. Bring back away goals as well, man. <clears throat> yeah, 100%. Can't lie. Mm, Whatever this new edition of Champions League is going to be, bring back away goals, yeah. man. I agree with that. You think so? Cool. Yeah, so I we, can't lie we've to done, you. We've done that one. Let's go to Bayern Munich, Arsenal. This is such a funny one. Because this one, I can't predict. We're talking about it. I'll, I'll be real. I'll, I'll, I'll say what my prediction is, but this is so funny because Arteta played in this game. No? He, but he's faced up against Thomas Müller before. Mm. Like, but the Thomas Müller video made me laugh when he was saying Kav Havertz are coming for you because mm. it's almost like he forgets that you're not playing Sonogo gun them man anymore. You know, This is a different <laughs> Arsenal. Like, yeah. you're actually, like, it's a different Arsenal. I think, oh, not to relate the two, but you know when Madrid went to the Etihad mm. and they got learnt, I think there's the potential that if Bayern don't set up properly and Thomas Tuchel tries this nonsense, that Arsenal could teach them at the Emirates. And they've got no fans as well. That no they've fans, no fans. Is, is big. They've got no, no fans at the Emirates. I don't know if that leg comes first or second, it's but first. they've got no fans. It's the first I don't know leg, what yeah. Arsenal can do over there, but at the Emirates, I feel that like Arsenal could learn them something, 100%. It's a, it's a tough one. It's so hard to predict because yeah. Tuchel, one thing that, no matter what people think about him as a manager, mm. he's good in Europe. Mm. But he's bro, good so in Europe. Can you, do you not have to add as well? Mm. Arsenal technically start 1-0 down anyway. What do you mean? Harry Kane. Nah, but Harry Kane. Yeah, yeah, what does that yeah, mean? Maybe if he gets a pen, maybe he's, if he gets a pen. Harry Kane, Harry Kane Arsenal is, is cash money. Oh, for pens. Odds even. Mm. For pens. Uh, it's odds seven even. Seven I mean, of his last he's scoring. I, 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 don't, I don't think that because uh, you have Harry Kane, that means you're automatically Harry Kane is scoring the goal. Uh, he might. Yeah, no, I Harry Kane, Harry Kane I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Harry Kane is scoring the goal. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I hope he has a bigger plan for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think Tuchel sure in Europe is, is very good. And I think when you look at... Um, when you look at Arteta in Europe, he still feels like he's learning certain moments. We know what happened mm -hmm. last year in the Europa League. Even mm -hmm. this season, you know, the Porto went mm -hmm. to penalties, mm -hmm. a game that people thought they were going to just stroll through. Even, even in that game, the that Emirates game, it was 50-50% mm -hmm. possession at full time mm -hmm. until extra time. I don't know what happened extra time, mm -hmm. but full time was 50-50. So we've seen that maybe Arteta is going to learn. I think Arteta... Yeah, I know you're saying he's going to the potential to t teach them a lesson, mm. but I do think in Europe, Arteta's going to set up a little bit differently than how he does in the Prem. From what I saw against Port, I think he will set up a little bit more defensively you know than he will in the Prem. He's going to have to go for it because the first leg is at home and you don't want to go to the Allianz nil-nil yeah. or whatever. He'll but play I the think in the first game. I don't know who's going to win. It's uh, so hard to predict this one, but I do think Arsenal need to go to the Allianz with a two-goal advantage. Mm. The, if they're gonna, if they go with winning by only one goal, I'd worry for them at there. What I'll say to your point is, we just said Styles make fight, and I, I think anyone <coughs> that knew the whole Porter situation coming to this thing, they will tell you that this stylistically will be tough for mm -hmm. Arsenal because it's just That's a certain true. mentality and pressing and whatnot that they're probably not prepared for. And, and again, that Champions League was that, was that, was, know, was that after the shoot. first leg, or did people really walk into the <laughs> Porto game thinking that? Porto were going to shut up Arsenal like that. Not shut up, but people were like, listen, this Porto game, I wouldn't just say, I think, say it's a no banker. Like, I this Champions you, League at the end of the day. I think for Champions that League. game, though, you have to give Porto credit and how they oh, kind of coach it up. Yeah. For me, I think, I don't know, I feel like Bayern can be got. I'll be real with Definitely. you. As much 100%. as Harry Kane can score, I don't think it'll be enough. I look at them defensively mm -hmm. and I'm like, you guys can be got at. We know if McConnell's capable of one of his yeah. disasters. They've got Dyer, they've got Kim Min Jae on bench. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I actually think Arsenal will, funnily enough, beat them. And this is almost going to be like their revenge moment, mm. if you like. But I just don't think it will be maybe a blitz and scoreline. But I think the first leg anyway will almost be like a <gasps> rah. Mm. No, I agree with you. I said they're going to learn. Serious, I said, uh, yeah. And this, is, this was what I said about kind of start of the season when I mm. said, yo, I could see them making a semi-final. I was like, City and Madrid are the only two teams you can comfortably look at and say they will bop these man or whatever mm. or beat them. I look at Bayern and I've all, this whole season I've uh, a little yeah. bit iffy kind of shaky in can they do it in and, Europe can they just and that's the rise thing can Tuchel rise it and mm. he's shown it with Stunning Chelsea before. a mishmash squad I can still get them there mm. so I think a lot will kind of how Tuchel sets up but if he does anything like he did against Leverkusen uh, the mm. other week mm. where he tries to go toe to toe and set up oh Arteta's going to set up like this mm. he will get spun like a baby like mm. so. I, no, I agree with you that's what I, said. I think like they're going to learn at Emirates it's all about so what who do you think is going do. through I, I think I have Arsenal going through I I am interested in seeing Musiala in those games though, like just to see it fully, because 
If there's they one need person him that can... and Kane, Kane's on injured. Yeah. Kane's injured. And, and, uh, it's well, a, he better it's, come it's back. It's a knock, I think. Yeah. But um, it's what the game's in like three weeks yeah, or something. Yeah, like, so it's March. He'll be recovered. Like, yeah, he'll effect. be recovered. He's because he's one of them players. If he's on it, no, it's not it could be April. April. It could be long. It could be long. But I have I have Arsenal. I have Bayern. Yeah, Bayern. I just think like Arsenal are the better team. Arsenal are the better coach team. Arsenal are the team going in better form defensively. They're a problem. Bayern mm. in transition defensively are, are are weak. All all suggests Arsenal win. But <laughs> I said it from the beginning, and I just think like experience and and, and like those moments they count for something in Europe, bro. And but I feel like, I just think this moment is too early for Arsenal. I think I think the experience thing matters, but sometimes there's almost that lack of fear when you don't have that experience. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I feel like the last game was one I felt like they mentally endured a lot, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. If they don't learn lessons from that almost, mm -hmm. I feel, uh, yeah, I, I, I genuinely mm -hmm. think Bayern's and there to be got. You saw at. how much it meant to them without Ferrari. Like, like if, if we got through this, if, yeah, if Arsenal really want to like make a statement of this kind of like project, this is the type of two leg tie where you just eviscerate them, and it's like you know. I don't what? think I don't think they'll eviscerate. Them. No, no, they yeah, won't yeah, eviscerate. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, but yeah. listen, yeah. go and get it back in blood yeah. for Wenger. Yeah. Go and get it back in blood for Wenger. Like, <laughs> go and get it back in blood for him. <laughs> <laughs> go and get it back. I think people even forget last year. Okay, the result says otherwise, but. I genuinely believe Tuchel actually coached a good game against Pep last year, and it was just individual errors that killed his team. Yeah. Mm. But I, I honestly, uh, coaching-wise, yeah. mm. it was it was even in my opinion. Mm. Or he coached it as well as he could. Mm. No, to get Kim Bain J back in the team, though. I don't know what's mm. going on with the, the, the Eric Dyer thing, though. You know, what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but I'm gonna go. I don't. It's so hard, but I'm gonna go with. I'm just gonna go with Bayern. Let us know in the comments. I can't really predict it, but I'm gonna go with Bayern. For the what? sake of time, let's go. Um, Witzel Derby, Atletico Dortmund. That was an interesting one. Because that's a Witzel Derby. It is, that's hilarious. No, it is. Yeah, that's no, that's, get you, that's get his you. game. <laughs> but I feel like Atleti are, they're weird because it's like, they're not as scummy as they used to be. Yeah, they haven't been for a while. If yeah, anyone's been watching. For the past 18 months, yeah, I they're, like, they're not as scummy as they used to be. Switch formations, they, yeah. they're way more attacking than they yeah. would normally be. But it's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I, I still not. think they're resilient and I, and I still think they're dogs, which was shown by the last game, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like the way they were able to turn that around, you yeah, have to yeah. give Diego Simeone the utmost oh, respect Chola. and credit. Mm. And I think from a kind of story perspective, I would love for him to win it or go to the final again. Yeah, or, yeah. But I, I think they're going to wash Dortmund, in my personal opinion. And see, then they're going to wash Dortmund. Yeah, and it's semi final. Edit. Semi final, they get done. Do you see Memphis's Instagram post? Oh yay! Oh yay! Yeah. You. you were supporting the wrong no, not side. That, no, not oh. that one. No, that one. That's <laughs> I love Memphis. That's, Memphis. That's just man. when he's being goofy. That's when he's being goofy. I'm <laughs> talking about he, he, like his Instagram post, Instagram reel for his penalty and all. No, all I didn't see it. I didn't no, see it. it's wavy. Is it wavy? Bro. Wavy. wavy. Yeah, Listen, wavy. you know he's a wavy. social yeah, media head man. Wavy. You even need to go and check <laughs> out. It's wavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think Athletic are going to go through as well. I think yeah. they're dark horses, man. Like, every season is so funny. Every season, you know, through like, because of Dos Locos, well, every season I say Liverpool are going to final and Athletic are dark horses. I say every. Season. Every season I say it, yeah. But I think again, like you look at Atletico, it's like uh, going to the to the Wanda mm. second myth. It, it, it's tough, bro. It's myth. tough. Inter could say they deserve to go through as well. Mm. Inter played a really good game in both mm. legs, and Inter one of the teams that we thought might surprise everyone again, yeah. go to the final. But Atletico did it, and Diego Simeone in the Champions League still has that record, and nobody has beaten him at home in a knockout round. In the since he's been the um, he made as well, I, Raquel I just can't see Dortmund going there. I think and Dortmund. Yeah. I think Dortmund though. I, I agree. I think Atletico will go through because I think they're the better team. But Dortmund at, at the same time have been slept on all year. They got out of that group of death that they topped with yeah. PSG, Newcastle, and Milan. Mm. And I, I think too, you talk about home advantage. Senor Aduna Park is a tough place to go. It so is. I think people. I, I think Atletico will win, but I don't think it'll be a walkover like mm. some people think. Mm. Listen. Sancho, can you inflate the price higher? Mm. Can you inflate the price higher? That's Sancho? what I was saying. Remember what I was saying? I was saying it's so funny that Sancho has dipped up, got, got kicked out of us to go to the Champions League. Now man's scoring goals and sending them into the flipping quarters, bro. It's unbelievable, Football man. It was a funny it's game unbelievable. Like that, man. So bro, you're going, you're going Atletico, Atletico, yeah. I'm going Atleti. Same. Cool. Last, yes. Same, Atletico. Last but not least, PSG Barcelona. <sighs> I mean, the spirit of youth versus KM. You know what? I'm going. Killy, I might Killy. surprise y'all. Killy Killy's getting to the final. This is mm. his last hurrah, last Ay. dance of PSG. Ay. He's gonna almost take them to the promised land mm. without Neymar and Messi. Mm. Mm. Mbappe against his future ops too. Woof. Mm. And we know the he drink me PSG yo, in the and, final. And Mbappe versus Barca. We know how that shit go, man. Ay. We know how Ay. that shit go. Hey, I think Mbappe, if there's a way to get Ay. in the good books of Madrid fans. Yeah. Mm. 
cook these lot. It would be a damn shame if cook these lot. Mm. It's all the whole killing and bappy and bappy and, and, and then and then it's your mother. It just comes. <laughs> oh, I'm quite lying. Bro, I got nah, that in the just plant, spirit. Yeah, I am getting sick of it. I'm getting a feeling that it might be Barcelona. You know, bro. This this Kick. this La Masia thing, bro. Kabasi's only played like a few games. Man's locking up. Osh- 12, I said, what's yeah. going on here, bro? What's going on? No, no, Oshi man. Please, man. Please, man. Yeah. Come on, man. We're, we're done with that. You, Pre-Afcon, you could have tricked us. <laughs> Come on, man. 40 mil in the summer. Go go to Burnley or something. What? What? You've got to have to your chip on, boy. Yeah, he's excited. Go replace that troll. Nah, I look at it, you're right. And I actually think people are writing off Barcelona too, too early. Too I agree. I think we're all in love with the Mbappe story. Mm. We're all in love with Mbappe on Champions mm. League night. But I think Barcelona are going to make it tough. And I actually think I'm getting a feeling mm. that Barcelona are going to win. They're going to go through. They've got, they've got, they've I think got the Mbappe, quality. if Mbappe is Mbappe, yeah. Yeah, they cool. should go through. If Mbappe is the world level best player in the world, Mbappe, they should go through. But I just think, I don't know what it is. I just got a slight feeling that Barcelona are going to do it. There's a spirit about Barcelona this season in certain moments you're kind of like, oh, okay, that's why you're Barcelona. Like, Barcelona as an institution is not where it was. But there's these little moments you go, oh, okay, I can see why mm. you're Barcelona. And I think I Barcelona, like yeah. This is one of them ties where they might just remind everyone that this is why you're Barcelona. If you know, you know that there's a few brown paper bags that might, you know, mm. you know, you know, Cam, you know, Cam, 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 Cam. Yeah. HP is saying, get me on the phone. <laughs> Let me call him. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Harry got some shit. Dark! He said, get me on the phone. The first live caller. Don't no, kill that's me. too funny. Um, but but yeah. nah, I, I think it'll be PSG. I think they're more resilient you as well than previous years. Yeah. But um, Zaire Emery. Can they hear you? Let's see. Chat. Yeah, we can, can hear you. Can they hear you? Yeah? Can they hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. They can hear you. I'm fresh from Umrah. <laughs> I went and I prayed. I said, Allah Akbar. I said, please, let us get through. And what did we do? We got through. <laughs> Ahmad Diallo, Marcus Abdul Aziz Rashid Ford. Aye! These are the names, bro. <laughs> Cause where? You're excited, isn't it? I'm ecstatic. <laughs> you if you know, you know. I right, listen. Let me just say something. I'm on one of the greatest pods of all time. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. Mm. But this is why we support Manchester United Football Club, bro. This is why. Yeah, we've been horrid this season. It doesn't matter when mm-hmm. moments like this happen. Liverpool are our arch rivals, bro. You gotta take these. You gotta take them. You, you gotta, gotta take, take these, them, bro. If you don't take them, what are you taking? You Nothing. Say you, bro. So, you get me, and then there's people in the comments. I see them saying, "I'm praying for a devil club." Well, may Allah forgive me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> As, you know what? Hey, you know what the advert said? It's for life. It's a pact. You're locked in for life. You lost, bro. We're going to Wembley. We're going. We're going Wembley. We're going Wembley, mate. On the way to Wembley. Hey, inside scoop. Costa Cams, Liaz, we'll be there. We'll be yeah, there. We will be there. We'll be there. <laughs> we'll be there. Big up, bro. All I want to say is, yeah. though, um, ah, there's someone in that studio that he's lacking three points. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Harry, I thought we were Aki's. <laughs> no, but actually, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Look, I love you, bro. You know already, but... Three nil. <laughs> <laughs> Hold tight, the participants. Come on, talk, bro. Hey, talk. The game hey, is game. That, it ain't. I'm getting calling hey, shots as well now. Yeah. Love, <laughs> nah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is so big up HP, man. Big up, big up, big up. So we're saying with the PSG Barcelona, you're going Barcelona. You're going PSG. PSG. Production, where are you going? I'm going PSG, man. The best player in the world to get it done. Mm-hmm. I'll go Barcelona. Mm. All right. All right. So what's that? Is that all of them? Yeah. yeah. That's all of the tires. Okay. Who do you think is winning it? Because that's obviously the talk. I see. I see. You're gonna use that as one of the potential. I think whoever City Madrid, whoever you think comes whoever out of that, that wins it. They win it. That's okay. my eyes. Yeah. How I see it. I, I see City. I see City winning it. I see City winning it. As okay. Well, I've got. I've got. A, I've got a counter thing. Because obviously, you two said. Um, oh, the PSG. finals in Wembley as well. Yeah, the finals in Wembley. I've got a counter thing. Um, can PSG meet 
whoever wins that side yeah. in the final. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what if Mbappe does what he did in the World Cup, but actually he succeeds this time? Mm. Amen. Because you're the best player. Be great saying. story. I, I then, will love Mbappe signing off on a PSG for Champions wow. League. Wow. Can you imagine that a PSG be, versus Madrid? Listen. Let's talk about football narratives. Well, and he That's wins. Yeah, bro, can you yes, imagine a PSG? Yes, you saw where I was going. <laughs> bro, can you imagine a PSG meets Madrid in the final and Mbappe beats them? That's what I'm saying. Would, uh, bro, that's the in best London. way to sign what, up. Uh, My F- job here is done. Faisal don't want that. Faisal does not want Mbappe going to I Madrid with Ballon d'Or champions. I need They'll that. Him, fam. They'll I do him. need that. But you know, I will put Faisal's tears in a cup. If I'm, <laughs> if Mbappe, on my, on my desk. if Mbappe won the Champions League, yeah, for PSG, conversation scoring. And let's say he scored in the final sign. Oh, just even. Heard. Boy, you know, yo. conversations to be had, innit? Yo, we might be looking at mm, conversations to be had. Let's put one of the greatest of all time, mate. You know what I mean? We might be looking at one of the greatest of all time. That's what yeah. I'm saying. World Cups okay. there, UCL. Man said for the home club, bro. They laughed at me when I said I'll do it, but I did it. But you know, parties are going to be spoiled somehow. There's going to be one underdog that goes through. That's why I'm going with Barcelona. And he has like Dortmund in the final or something, man. <sighs> What Imagine yeah, Arsenal Dortmund final. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Your reaction said it all there. Uh, <laughs> can't happen. And then what? What Raya gets sent off in the first half. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Growing up, right? Raya gets sent off in the first nah, half. You know what's Who so plays funny? right back for Dortmund? Hey. Right back. For Dortmund. The history of pizza of the Belletti Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what's so funny, yeah? Growing Matt's up, in. growing up, yeah, when I was like younger, I used to support like the English clubs in the Champions League. I didn't yeah. mind. When I was younger, I used to yeah. be like, oh Premier League, like yeah, the Premier League team win. Now, yeah. do you know the level of hate watching I do when I'm watching Arsenal, <laughs> City, and the Champions League? Yeah. The hate, bro. I tell you, my greatest moment of all time is Morata <laughs> knocking out Liverpool, bro. Mm. That was the greatest <laughs> moment. That, that was great <laughs> winning the Champions League for me, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's crazy. Um, man. That a, shit meant A few other things um, in the Europa League, they are building up as being um, Xavi Alonso being on track to face Liverpool. Liverpool yeah. are walking that towards to get to the final. Mm. By don't want to never loosen is a real thing. <laughs> They're doing their thing. That would be interesting to see if that happens. That would be in Dublin. <laughs> yeah, I think Liverpool win the win Europa. Right, they're too strong in it. Mm-hmm. Too strong, too open. I can't lie. I'd love it if Alonso did it. Yeah. To go the whole season unbeaten. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're all talk- comps. That's crazy. Yeah. That's that's um. They're talking you know, about what's the LeBron ritual thing he did? Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah bro, Alonso, we're watching you. Alonso, <laughs> 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 we are watching you, brother. Because I'm sorry that those Carabao games, mm-hmm. the way they came back, nice. yeah. There's Man, something in the water over there, bro. Shuka mode brace. All of this Alonso praise just for it to end in the hands of David Moyes. I will be there, lads. I will be there, lads. Screaming David real man. Moyes. Don't sleep on it. People yes, think they're just gonna wash West Ham. Nah. Yo, you ain't come Olympic on a on a on a scary on a scary eight pm kickoff. That's trust me, Olympic. you ain't come Olympic. Olympic. You ain't come London Stadium on a That's on a Olympic. crazy eight pm. Trust me, watch it. Sound like Morrison, bro. Bubbles, I'm gonna be blowing. <laughs> Sound like Morrison, bro. East End hey, boys, East End <laughs> boys, watch. David Moyes, come on, Irons. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Cavs was an undercover West Ham. No, no, it's that, yeah. But it's mad because he sports QPR it's, as well. Bro, it's so good. You can go back to. Original but, like early yeah. episode. Bro, he came in Catch him in the West Ham top, bro. I'm telling you, buddy. bro. But that listen, Antonio man. Dagger's gonna send shockwaves around Antonio, the world. Antonio in 2024. He scored today. He scored today. Okay. It's Villa. It's, yeah, he's yeah, warming up, man. He's warming oh, yeah, up. Villa drew in it. Mm. Hold that. Hold listen, that. man. Let's go. Um, let's go. Last super chats. Then we do chaps and dads, man. Yeah. It's been um, a good episode. Let's bring it home. Mm-hmm. So, so the. You have to, hold on. So champ of the week, well, this person said it's Raya. He's oh, is, that, is, that his, um, is that the super chat? Yeah. Okay, he said on. champ of the week is Raya, become very un- underrated now. He also said away goal revisionism is crazy. We used to hate it. Uh, I've never hated away goal. No, I don't think I ever hate it. That that jeopardy is- It's 50-50, people. people did hate it. Yeah. Yeah. There, no, no, there was definitely an, yeah. uh, a section of people that hated it. It wasn't me though. But it was in, it was in German, man. Uh, Schaefer Smith says Arsenal haven't conceded at home in the Champions League yet and Kane's last seven goals against Arsenal were just penalties. Gabriel will take him in his pockets. I actually think Gabriel against Kane, he matches up well against them, to be honest. Uh, Joshua says, fun fact, Sané is yet to make it past the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And mm. then my guy, mm. Steven, uh, says, I think PSG will wash Barca and Mbappe, sure, but our midfield has improved and defense is finally defending. Barca has been inconsistent and riddled of injuries. I'm not worried. Mm. Yeah, because they got Frank Chow, yeah. they got, yeah. um, I think Christensen picked up a knock the other week as well, yeah. so they got a couple of injuries still. Yeah. It'll be nice for PSG. It'll, I mean, I don't actually like PSG that much, but Mbappe, for, for Mbappe, Dembele's mm. there, 
Mm. I mean, we're not saying it will be absolutely hilarious if it, if it happens when Man- Messi and Neymar leave. Actually, you know what? I don't even like that we say and Neymar. They had something going on until Messi joined. Let me not. Mm. When Messi joined, all of a sudden, Champions League was a myth. Mm. Before that, Neymar and Mbappe had a little thing going on I in the said, Champions League. Get me? Messi came, done his little thing, ruined it. Now he's off in Miami. You know what I mean? So it, it, let me not even put Neymar in there, bro. Sure, sure let's <laughs> should do champs and duds, yeah? Yeah, yeah let's All do right, it. Cool. My dud is um, there was a fiction the MLS. It was in Chicago, I think oh it was. Oh my days, I saw that. And the, oh wind, my the Windy God. City. The, the Windy Chicago City. Chicago Fire. Yeah. Disgraceful. Discre- like that, I think you tweeted it perfectly. Yeah. That goal should be disallowed for natural causes. Yep. Yeah. Like, excuse me? <laughs> the wind is... <laughs> Bro just lofted Wind the assist. ball up the pitch to try and, you know, yeah. and then, and then let's he get the ball up the pitch. And then he celebrated. Nah, shit. Man thought it was the last airbender. You kicked him away. Literally, bro. And it's shameless. the fact that he celebrated was shameless. Yeah, it's shameless. So I've got to give Duddery for that because honestly, I've seen some wild stuff in my time watching football, but mm-hmm. that, that was bizarre. Mm. So that's that's my dad for the week. You got any duds, gents? AGT. AGT is my dud of the week for putting zero United players in the combined 11. Hold mm. that! Mm. Hold mm. that! What hype! Oh. Go home, AGT! Oh. <laughs> I, I love that. Hype, man. AGT somehow managed to finesse an abbreviation, by the way. Mm. But we can't call it KDH. Maybe mm. justice for Juby Hall for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying AGT. America's got talent. Mm, fair enough. Mm. Yeah. That was nice. A little bit of bullshit. A little bit of bullshit. Let me go. My dad, um, there's not really been much that's gone on this week. What about what have I laughed my head off at this week? Uh, th- there's not really been much, to be fair. It's not duddery, to be fair, what I've been laughing at. So I can't give Let us know, though. Let's, what's yeah. been making you laugh, Coach Combs? Oh, one of the things that's made me laugh. Did you guys see Zion Williamson's? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to win. I'm a competitor. I'm a competitor. Hey, yo, that, yo, that was a funny no, thing. It's as simple as that. Simple yeah, as that. Simple as that. <laughs> that's all I want. Man, you played like 15 games a year, bro. bro I'm here to win. I'm a competitor. <laughs> hey, that was so funny. But nah, all right, we're, 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 let's go champs. Um, No, Fred doesn't win. Or, um, no, I don't think I have a dog. Think, to be no, fair. Cool. No. My champ of the week is Ooh, Lautaro. No, Mohamed Kudus. Oh, for the goal, the goal, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the Crazy. goal and for the celebration because mm. you know everyone has an iconic moment, iconic celebration, mm. that, yeah, that mm-hmm. is iconic. To, to have your own celebration, cool. To then take it to another level. And I took the bent, the, the <laughs> thing. <laughs> and then you sat down. From the photographer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 That, was, that was cool. I have two, I have a dud of the week. Go on. Go on. Ivan Tony's my dud of the week, man. You, you know, gotta, oh. you gotta stop Great. giving these interviews, bro. Great show. Mm. Bro, Great I show. like you, Ivan Tony, but you gotta stop giving these interviews, man. Mm. Honestly, like, School let the it. season play. I understand he's asked you a question about what's the ideal way the season ends, but just answer it. At some point, hop in your PR bag, hop in your media train bag and just say, look, I want to stay up with the team, get our results, and go into the summer, hopefully make the England team. All this talk about, oh, hopefully Madrid signed me, or look, I really, I've always dreamed of playing for... Let it go, bro. Let it go. This is, for me, if I were a, a, an executive at a club or whatever, and I'm seeing this guy consistently talking about getting these big moves when your season has been poor since you came back, let your, you let your football do the talking at some point. Yeah, I, I, I fully agree. And you know what? But he's been doing that for ages. Do you remember when he was with that snow? When he was with a snow bunny? Yeah, he said fuck Brentford. And then he said fuck Brentford yeah, yeah, yeah. just for pumps. Yeah. That's no, crazy. but do you know, you know Leas, do you know why it's mad, yeah? And I think it's a great dud. You know, man, don't do anything. For me. Listen, <laughs> the reason why it's mad, yeah, is because obviously Brentford are a selling club. That's their model, isn't it? So obviously they probably had this conversation. I'm not in the rooms, but listen, we need to make a flip on you anyway. This is the yeah. nature of how it goes. The reason why it's duddery is because you are single handedly devaluing. Yourself. yourself you're ruling and, yourself and you're market. ruling out your certain moves like the Arsenal move looked like it could have been a move that's not happening the Chelsea move I don't know if we're going to spend right. money on him the options have reduced so much so like yeah it is a big dud I just remember the dud actually go on Marcus Turam. oh Marcus Turam is getting duddery because he could have helped his Inter Milan team in qualify mm. but missed two sitters throughout the game and then I don't know if you lot saw moments before he got substituted the shenanigans he was up to with Savage mm-hmm Duddery. Duddery. That's a good one. I'm yeah. sorry. That's, but that's one. I ain't got. I ain't got no more. I ain't got no more. Well, yeah. Um, and we just got. We just got a reporting from from Dr. Saying, in it in the ear. In the earpiece. Apparently, Klopp called the reporter fat. He said something along those lines. I need to see that. Yeah. Oh, I've got another. I think, I've got I, another. I, yeah, I need to see that. Well, I right? need to see that. I've got one, one more dud. My other dud goes oh. to Arsenal women. <laughs> nah, nah. You know, <laughs> I, wait, wait, thank wait, wait. you. To, I, I got the footage here. 
Uh, I'm really disappointed about that question, but you thought obviously it's good. So too many games, so oh, I don't think that. Ah, come on, you are obviously not in a great shape, and I have no nerves for you. Hey, <laughs> he walked off patting his belly oh, and said, shit. "You're not in great shape. Oh, I have no shit. words for you." Nah, <laughs> you know what? Somebody <laughs> just gave in a his great one. On this blue. is a great one. The <laughs> great the other week was the was shout out to uh, Abadi Shif Shifa. Yeah. Jamie Carragher, bro. Jamie oh Carragher. What, like you and nah, Malik? Nah, nah. <laughs> Do you know who's the champ? Kate Abdo. Jamie, yeah. wait, man said what, like you and Malik? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about Malik? Yeah. That, yeah, that was, <laughs> nah, nah. That was a dud. But Kate Abdo, for she's the way champ. she handled that the next she's day, a champ. she's a she's champ. A champ. Nah, hey. hey, yo, let's so wrap many it up. people, imagine yeah. that was Malika Andrews. Yeah. What, what she would have done. Yeah. Camps. Imagine if, if Kate Abdo was Malika Andrews. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. locked off. Yeah. That's You're that's never seen Carragher again. He would have got, yeah. got Paul Pierce. Yeah. Finished. Yeah. Yeah. No, it would have been finished. Ask, ask the woman Kit, um, Kit person is, 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 is a dud of a week as well. Man brought the wrong socks. Not to Malik? Oh. So they had to wear, they had to wear Chelsea socks. <laughs> Not to Malik. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> they, had, they had to wear Chelsea socks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't lie. The Carragher video made me laugh so much. Do you know bro. what it was? Yeah. And the outrage was killing me, bro. Do you know what it, was? it was Micah's reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah reaction. Yeah, yeah. was like him just going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man tried to double down in it, you know. Yeah, I've made that image a, a sticker on WhatsApp, bro. I just be sending it all the time now. Like, uh, if I swear to you, yeah, I wish some of these people had your yeah. number, because Cavs has the worst yeah, yeah. sticker collection yeah, ever. Right. The one you sent me the other yeah. day. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Is it the thumbs up? Is it no, the thumbs up? No, no, I'll show you after the show. We can't say it on there. This guy's an idiot. Guy's so He's an idiot. Who's your champs of the week? He's an Not idiot. Not to Malik? No. No. We died it, we died it. Let's wrap it up, man. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. We'll so be funny. back next week. Like, share, subscribe, <laughs> smash a like, like, like. Out. Um, algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. It's international break, but I'm sure we'll cook something up for you. And listen, man, we've been the FCM. Peace. Peace.